no matter what. The Bruins understand the importance of today's game. At the same time, Montgomery said that the team has its eyes on the bigger picture with five games left. First place is on the line, you know. Besides that, I mean, we just want to continue what we've been doing, especially these last two games. We really care about our play heading into playoffs. And <clears throat> we feel we're, our play is in a good place, and what better way to test it than play it against Florida tomorrow at home? Well, right now, Judd, I mean, I, I don't get too far ahead of it, right? I mean, you, you got the ability today to go six points up on Florida, even in games played. You only have four games left after today. Uh, that's a huge, huge hill to climb if you're the Panthers to try to come back on that. How much of a premium do you put on you know, being in first place? As it looks right now, first place is going to get Tampa, unless Tampa overtakes um, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Tampa, by the way, trailing 4-2 with about 15 minutes left in the third period against Pittsburgh today. Uh, you know, there's an outside chance somebody can overtake the Rangers. So, so a number of different things can happen, but most likely first place in the Atlantic is going to face the Tampa Bay Lightning, second place in the Atlantic, we'll, we'll, excuse me, the other way around, and, and we'll play Toronto. Yeah, exactly. So that's the way it's kind of looking right now. Still, some things can happen, but um, you know, I, I don't, I don't think you pick your poison there. You just want to be playing your best hockey, kind of going into the playoffs, and you know, that's what Florida was doing last year when they faced the Bruins late in the year and, and, and into the first round of the playoffs, and that's what the Bruins are hoping to be doing here. You know, heading into the the postseason, it's just. Finish where you finish and, and be ready to go in that first round no matter who you face. It's it's going to be tough no matter who you face there. Brad Marchand notched his 400th goal on Thursday, and he's only two back of Rick Middleton for fourth in franchise history. Lately, trying not to think about it, but, um, you know, obviously it was kind of an elephant in the room. Nice to get it and, uh, you know, don't have to worry about it anymore. Just But, uh, you know, it's nice that we had a, a really good game to follow it up and, and a big road trip. So it's a good night. Yeah, I... I mean, and I hope it had been a little while, right? 11 or 12 games since he had scored. So uh, he knew it. He, he threw the monkey off his back after he scored that goal. Uh, it's got to be a good feeling for him. He's still being productive. He's still putting up some of the points and, and, and you know, being effective in, in different areas. Uh, I'd like to see, I think, I think moving forward, there's a, num there's a little, few areas that you kind of target you want to get better at. And the number one for me right now is, is the power play. It, it, it needs to be better, and he's a big part of that power play. No matter where they put him, whether it's on the half wall or whether it's down low or on the elbow or down low, uh, but that power play needs to be more productive. It, it's a game changer when you get that going. It, it, it's not imperative. I know you can win without it, especially if you have the good penalty killing and good team defense, but it is a good weapon to have if you can get that thing going. Here's what's brewing. Introducing Sparked Energy by Dunkin'. Available in two delicious flavors, Berry Burst and Peach Sunshine. Drop by or order on the Dunkin' app today. Fruit flavored. Contains 0% fruit juice. Caffeine from Caffeine and Garana. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Later on the Dunkin' Bruins pregame show, we'll take a look around the NHL where Sidney Crosby and the Penguins are trying to climb their way into a wild card spot. Rust across the line to Crosby. Rust holds. Top to Crosby. Stop! We'll hear from head coach Jim Montgomery. I think we're playing the hardest, most physical, most cohesive brand of hockey that we've played all year. And up next, we'll take a closer look at the Panthers. Bennett, Kachuk, and Cousins together tonight for the Panthers. Here's Kachuk setting up Cousins. He scores! 62 seconds in, Kachuk to Cousins, and the Panthers have the lead. That's coming up next on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Need a brain boost? Try Neuromag Magnesium L3 and 8 from Life Extension. Magnesium plays an important role in healthy memory and cognitive function. But not all magnesium supplements are easy for your brain to absorb. Neuromag is formulated with an ultra-absorbable form of magnesium, making it a brilliant choice to provide the maximum benefits for your brain health. So, boost your brain performance, memory, and attention with Neuromag today. Apartments.com is the best in the business, but you don't stay on top by ignoring your renters, so I've asked a few million of them to share their favorite aspects of the site. Let's uh, let's kick things off. The air is nice. 
I guess we have to narrow this down. Uh, okay, chime chime in if you found a place this week. Okay, uh, only if your name is Brandy. Did you say Randy? Love you, Brandy. Randy with an I. Right here, that's what you said. This may take some time. Apartments.com, the place to find a place. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. The Honda you want is here. So drive in the moment with the versatile Honda CRV or Accord. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value brand. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on the 2024 Honda Accord and a 2.9% APR on the 2024 CRV. See dealer for financing details based on 2023 brand image words from Kelly Blue Book. Visit KBB.com for more information. Connect with Boston's home for sports online, 98.5, thesportsautom.com. Larson's got it with 10. Sergei Bobrovsky is going to pick up his fifth shutout of the season, his fourth career shutout over the Senators, and the Panthers pick up the victory, 6-0 the final, and congratulations to Paul Maurice. Welcome back to the Duncan Bruins pregame show. The Panthers won that game on Thursday. It was only their third win in the last 11 games. Sam Bennett said that the team has tried to stay level-headed here in the past few weeks. I think our, our group's been pretty good at uh, staying pretty even keel through um, you know this rough stretch. But um, anytime you can have a game, a full 60-minute game like that, is it's going to be good for your confidence. So um, yeah, that, that was good for us. Yeah, they needed to get back um, just to feel better about themselves, right? I mean, I don't think anybody was panicking. Paul Maurice told everybody that. He said, well, you know, we're not panicking here. Uh, they're just trying to get to the end of the season, really, and they've got a lot of bodies. Uh, and they've got a couple guys that are hurt right now, and Ekblad and Verhage, uh not in the lineup. They are expecting them to be back for the playoffs, however, so that's good news for them. And they don't have to rush them. They're in a pretty solid spot. Uh, trying to keep everybody active, uh, some of the extra guys that they've had. I mean, you know, you look back at that game down in Florida, they didn't dress uh, Lombard, they didn't dress uh, uh, Gadzovich, they didn't dress um, a couple other guys. Op Opozo didn't play in that game. So, you know, they've got some options right now up, up front and, and even on the back end where the, who they're going to use and, and where. Uh, they're just worried about how they're playing. It's much like the Bruins. You know, how are you playing? Uh, how are you feeling about your game when you head into the playoffs? And I don't, I know that, I mean, there's guys that are experienced in that lineup. They're, they're not worried at all right now just uh, on the results part of it. But you do want to be winning a couple games to feel better about your, yourselves heading into the postseason. Head coach Paul Maurice felt Thursday's game was a big step in the right direction. We have a certain standard. It's, it's not an easy game to play. But if you play that game, then you should have fun. You should laugh and joke on the bench when something funny happens. And you should be a part of, you know, and very present if you like your work ethic. And it's hard to do that for 82 games the way we play, and we had a little lull in it. So you don't get to, you also don't get to have fun when you're when you're not competing as hard as you need to. So we had some grumpy days there. But and Barky's right. We had played hard going into the before the Toronto game. We deserved to go in there a little more with a little different attitude, hoping we got a kind of a little bit of our swagger back. Yeah, I think that game against Ottawa, 6 nothing. the teams really don't like each other. And it's funny because the Kachuk brothers played against each other there. But uh, they usually have some pretty good battles against the Ottawa Senators. And you know, Florida just took it to them in that game. Um, they're a veteran bunch. They went to the finals last year. They went to the finals last year for a reason. And they've only added to that group that was, that was here last season. Uh, this is a dangerous hockey team. And especially if they're getting the goaltending from Bobrovsky and the way that he's capable of playing. And, um, you know, when you look at their decor i mean the bruins just played a complete team in, in carolina did a great job a couple days ago they're gonna face another complete team here i know they've beaten them twice this year two of the games were early in the season florida wasn't quite hitting their stride hitting their stride yet 
Then they hit their stride for a while. Then they hit a little bit of a lull, and the Bruins caught them again. So, you know, I, I don't read too much into the three wins against the Florida Panthers so far this season. It would, it's all going to be what it looks like in the second round of the playoffs if, if these two teams do meet. Time for the Catches Law Health Report. Justin Brazo listed as week to week with an upper body injury. Pat Maroon is on LTIR, but he continues to skate with a full group. The Bruins are targeting him playing next Saturday in Pittsburgh. Derek Forward, Matt Patra also listed on long term injured reserve. Catches Law, the official law firm of the Boston Bruins has won over $2 billion for its clients. When you're injured and can't work, turn to Ketchis Law. There's no fee unless you win. Go to catcheslaw.com to schedule your free consultation today. Leroy Irvin has your Sports Hub headlines next on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. The Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the Road Trip Ready Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid from Honda. So bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the far destinations. Bring on the memories. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord Hybrid or CRV Hybrid. See dealer for financing details. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time, there's Granger. Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Chocolate and pretzel? Pretzel and chocolate! Mmm... Sweet, salty, crunchy flips. This flips everything. When your celebration of life is prepaid today, your family is protected tomorrow. With us, you'll find patience, compassion, and attention to detail that is second to none. We're your local Dignity Memorial provider. Find us at DignityMemorial.com. When you find a deal on your favorite thing in the McDonald's app and order it, does that technically count? As online shopping, save money with the app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. At participating McDonald's, prices may vary. Celtics play here at the Sports Hub. Sports Hub headlines. The Red Sox beat the Angels 8-6. to six. However, Trevor's story went down with a left shoulder injury. On a diving stop, he'll get an MRI today. The Red Sox and Angels get back at it tonight. First pitch at 9.38. Garrett Whitlock is scheduled to get the start for the Sox. No Jalen Brown or Derek White, but the Celtics got their 61st win of the season with a nail-biting win over the Kings, 101-100. to They'll play the Blazers at the Garden tomorrow. Despite only averaging 4.8 points per game at USC, LeBron James' son, Bronny James, will enter the 2024 NBA Draft while at the same time keeping his college eligibility, and he'll also enter the transfer portal. And the Women's NCAA Basketball National Championship game is all set after South Carolina dragged NC State up and down the court, beating them 78-59. to South Carolina's opponent will be Caitlin Clark in Iowa as they won an exciting, entertaining game against UConn, 71-69. to Revs and Charlotte FC tonight at 7.30, and the final four for the men goes down tonight, starting with NC State and Purdue at 6.09, and then Alabama takes on Alabama and then Alabama takes on UConn at 849 and again personally everybody enjoy Wrestlemania 40 it's going down tonight and tomorrow your sports hub headlines are brought to you by Valvoline instant oil change enjoy quick and convenient ve vehicle maintenance this month visit newenglandoilchange.com for 15 percent off your drive through oil change at Valvoline instant oil change now open in Raynham Redding and Braintree Judd and Bob go around the NHL next on 98.5 The Sports Hub, Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealer. If you started a degree program in the past but life got in the way, CCRI can get you back on track with a fresh start. 
CCRI's Fresh Start Scholarship allows eligible adult students to attend CCRI tuition-free for up to one year. Visit CCRI.edu to learn more. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Cup Noodles is now in a paper cup. Now easier. Now faster. Now microwavable. The original cup noodles. Same noodles, same great taste. Now in a microwavable paper cup. Backstagecountry.com, your online home for all things country music. It's going to be a busy year for country superstar Jason Aldean. He's extended his Highway Desperado tour and is teaming up with Kid Rock for Rock the Country tour dates. We've ranked our top five Jason Aldean music videos. Text Jason to 45911 to see if your favorite made the list on BackstageCountry.com. Text Jason to 45911 and we'll send the link straight to your phone. Sick of being upsold at gyms? For just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. It's fitness that fits your budget. Just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel any time. Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. You've got an idea for a business. The store of your dreams. There's just one thing to figure out. Everything. That's why Shopify's all-in-one commerce platform makes it easy to sell online, in person, and everywhere else. Sell on social media source products with an app to get that first sale feeling. It's the only solution that gives you everything you need to sell everywhere you want. So when you're ready to bring your idea to life, power it up with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. What a beautiful day in nature. Take it from a little bug like me. Nothing makes you feel more alive. <laughs> oh, whoa, I almost got frogged. That was a close call. But boy, do I feel capital A alive. Luckily for you humans, Nature's Way put that thrilling feeling of aliveness in a bottle. Nature's Way Alive Women's Multivitamin Gummies with 16 vitamins and minerals. Delicious multivitamins inspired by nature. Whoa, better luck next time, pal. Nature's Way. Are you ready to focus on on what you're truly passionate about. At the University of Massachusetts Amherst, we're committed to helping students design a meaningful path for their future. As one of the country's top tier public research universities, we're helping drive the world forward, empowering students to challenge convention, champion innovation, and embrace the freedom of affecting real positive change in the world. Tap now to explore flexible options for a high quality education or visit umass.edu. Be revolutionary. Listen live. Check out our podcast with the 98.5 The Sports Hub app. Time for Beersy and me to take a look around the National Hockey League. Let's focus on some of last night's games. So if you look at the race for the last wild card spot in the Eastern Conference, there are five teams involved in that race. Three of those teams played last night and all of them lost last night. Uh, unreal, right? I mean, the Flyers have gone into a tailspin. The Capitals have gone into a tailspin. The Rangers, uh, they had to, excuse me, the Red Wings had to play the New York Rangers. They ended up losing that game. Now, in fairness to Washington, they were playing Carolina. The Red Wings are playing New York Rangers. They were tough games. Philly lost to the Buffalo Sabres, who still has a very, uh, they really don't have a chance, but they the math, think they the do. The math's right? there. The math is there, right. <laughs> and uh, But all three of those teams were lose, you know, losers yesterday. That got the Islanders into the playoffs, and the Islanders have started to play some better hockey here recently after their big slide that they had. So, it's anybody's guess who's going to get that second. Well, there's two positions up, right? There's two possibilities. You can get third in the Metro, which the Islanders right now hold that position, and you can get the second wild card because Tampa Bay Lightning probably aren't going to relinquish the first uh, uh, wild card. So it's, it's, it's fascinating to see because you're not going to know who you're going to play until maybe the last day of the season, uh, last day of the regular season. The Bruins might have a clearer picture before that, you know, if they if they solidify second place or, for, excuse me, first place in the Atlantic, second overall in the East. So they might have that clearer picture. But right now, it's anybody's guess who's going to get those last two playoff spots. Third in the Metro, second wild card. One game already underway in the National Hockey League. It's taking place in Pittsburgh, and the Penguins built an early lead. Finds its way to Malkin. Losing his footing. Was Glenn Denning, and there's the puck one again, out is Gross Malkin, scores! Off the feed from Bunting, 4-1 Penguins! 
Yeah, it was 4-1 to one entering the third period. The Lightning have now scored three times, including a power play goal by Steven Stamkos to tie it up against the Penguins. It is now 4-4 with seven and a half minutes to go in the third period. Uh, and Malkin has had a quiet year. I think Crosby's had a really strong year. Malkin's had a quiet year, but he's picked it up here lately. He's gotten re-energized somehow, some way. I'm not sure what got him going. Maybe Crosby got him going, but uh, he's picked it up. He had a couple goals the other day. He's got a couple more here today. But Pittsburgh has an opportunity. They, they can get into the playoffs with a win here today, depending on what happens later in the day. But they had that 4-1 lead at home in the third period. And you got maybe two of the hotter teams here in the Eastern Conference battling it out 4-4 with seven minutes to go in the third. Later today in Chicago, the Dallas Stars are looking for their ninth consecutive win. Well, Dallas has been, they've been good all year. I think they've been really consistent all year in the way that they've played. Um, they're deep. They're a good hockey team. They're deep. The uh, Ottinger's been better here recently for them, but they can throw out three and four lines at you and four or five defensemen who, you know, they're they're a good hockey team. They're a physical hockey team. They they've, they really have it all. So they've kind of gone quietly. We've been focused on the East a lot this season. You can focus on some of the bigger teams, whether it's, you know, teams that have the big-name players in and, and Colorado or Edmonton and those types of teams, but Dallas just keeps getting it done. The Winnipeg Jets can hit 100 points today with a win in Minnesota. Well, they dipped for a while there, right? Uh, for a while there. Um, but they seem to be back on track. Uh, I like the, their additions at the deadline. To Foley coming in was a good one. They made a huge move last year at the, in the offseason with Dubois going to L.A. and, and bringing Velarde, who had a hat trick the other day. I mean, this, this is a pretty good hockey team, I think, I think in, in, in Winnipeg. And, um, they brought in Monaghan, who's had a good... Um, Ten years so far here with the uh, with the Winnipeg Jets, they've got the goaltending in Hellebuck. Uh, it, it, the Central Divisions, that, those are big boys right there in the Central Division with Dallas, Colorado, and Winnipeg. We mentioned math; it's not looking good for the Blues there in San Jose today. <laughs> no, you know they win a game here, they, they lose a game here, but they're hanging around, but really not looking good. It's just uh, they're certainly not going to catch anybody in the Central. They've got to try to catch somebody uh, for that second wild card, and it's just probably not going to happen because they're running out of runway. You mentioned the Philadelphia Flyers. They are leaking oil. They're in Columbus today. <sighs> well, Judd, I mean, you talked to me a little bit off the air, right, before we went on. Give me your thoughts on Tortorella and some of the things that he said and where the situation they are right now. It, it, it sounds like part of the narrative right now in Philadelphia is, is what John Tortorella is doing, and he certainly generated a lot of headlines around the National Hockey League, not just locally, is what he's doing helping or hurting the team. That's the conversation. Yeah, well... I mean, he can't play the games either. I mean, it's got to be the guys on the ice that are playing the games. And, you know, I think whether you agree with what he says or not agree with what he says, it's up to players on the ice to be able to get the job done. And he's trying to coax as much as he can out of them. Are they ahead of schedule? Yeah, they are. But they're in spot to make the playoffs right now. And they still control their own destiny, but they've got to get, they've got to get going here and get going in a hurry. They're one of the teams that lost last night. They lost to the Buffalo Sabres in Buffalo. Uh, so an opportunity here today um, in this game against Columbus. And I do think that that's important when it comes to the Philadelphia Flyers. Nobody necessarily expected them to be fighting for a playoff spot this season. Meanwhile, we'll move on to the Maple Leafs. They're in Montreal tonight, and Mitch Marner is likely back in the lineup. I think as a hockey player, you know, you take pride in um, playing every game and trying to play every game. So, um, And when you are out, it, it does suck, and you want to try to get back in as quick as you can. Um, but obviously, you know, through this time, I think that's how I tried to look at it is, you know, use it as a benefit and um, try to make it, uh, you know, work going forward. Yeah, Marner expected to get back in the lineup. Marner actually got hurt here in the, at the TD Garden in, in a game against the Bruins. He sprained his ankle, so he's been out some time right now. Here's Toronto's situation, right? They've, they've been very comfortable in third place for a while now. Tampa Bay Lightning are two points behind them coming into today's action. Tampa's, as we said, is tied 4-4 with Pittsburgh. Tampa win, and all of a sudden Tampa Bay overtakes Toronto. They would tie them in points, but um, and then Toronto would have two games in hand. So, you know, they're playing tonight, yes, yeah, so or one game after tonight. But, I mean, that's they're feeling a little bit of heat, I think, from Tampa Bay coming uh, up in the standings here, and as well as Tampa Bay's been playing. By the way, Toronto finishes the season, their last two games of the year, are in i'm not sure which order it is but they're in florida and tampa to finish the season wow the devils are in ottawa meanwhile let's move forward to the islanders game they're going to host the nashville predators here today on long island ryan pollock and the isles looking for their fourth straight win 
We're just trying to keep winning here. That's that's the focus. Um, you know, obviously the, the goal is to make playoffs, but it doesn't matter what position in, we're in. Um, you know, now we, we just got to keep winning games. And, and at the end of the day, you know, we find ourselves in a good spot here and, and um, we just keep going. I, I don't know what you're going to get from the Islanders. I mean, it seems like they're keeping the puck out of the net a little bit better now. Verlamo has been playing well for them. Uh, it, it's it's a um, you don't know what you're going to get from them. I mean, they had that six game win streak and a six game losing streak, you know, and, and it's just right now they seem to be playing a little bit better here the last couple of games. So um, good on them. Nashville, they had that huge streak there where they were 16. 16- no and two then they lost three in a row but they did get a nice w the other day so nashville solidly in in the playoffs out in the west by the way the penguins have now moved back in front oh, five to four over is. the lightning later tonight it's the battle of alberta it's the flames hosting the edmonton oilers and the oilers can pull within three points of first in the pacific yeah edmonton got embarrassed a couple of games ago against the dallas stars but they bounced back yesterday in a good game there against the uh, colorado avalanche the Canucks are in Los Angeles tonight, and their head coach, Rick Tockett, wants his team to focus on today's game. We're a game-to-game team. Like, we got to worry about the Kings. Um, you know, actually, I've been probably the most guilty one thinking about three weeks from now, and, you know, it's important that I think as a coach for think of game-to-game, correct our habits from game-to-game. We can't worry about three weeks from now. Um, and I think that was the message the last couple of days for me, the players. Hey, let's get back to worry about our practice today and we'll worry about the Kings tomorrow. And I think that's the way we have to approach it. Uh, you can't worry about what happens three weeks from now. Yeah, good hockey game coming up uh, in late night, right? Vancouver, 102 points right now. Los Angeles Kings have 91, but have played a little bit better here recently. They've won their last couple of games, and L.A. expected to be you know, one of the better teams out west when the playoffs do start. In a moment, we'll have our conversation with the head coach, Jim Montgomery. We're getting you set for the Bruins and the Panthers here at TD Garden on the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins radio network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh Uh-oh, better get Mako. Chocolate and pretzel? Pretzel and chocolate! Mmm. Sweet, salty, crunchy flips. This flips everything. When your celebration of life is prepaid today, your family is protected tomorrow. With us, you'll find patience, compassion, and attention to detail that is second to none. We're your local Dignity Memorial provider. Find us at DignityMemorial.com. We are the Community College of Rhode Island. You know us as CCRI, and we're more than you think. We have four campuses across the state with guided financial aid and scholarship opportunities and the lowest tuition in Rhode Island. We offer daytime, evening, on-campus, and online classes to help you earn your degree on your time. With more than 90 programs to help you discover your career path or advance on the one you already have. And over 70 transfer agreements, CCRI is the smart choice. We know who we are. Now it's your turn. The Community College of Rhode Island. Find your future here. The home of the Rams, the Sports Hub. Welcome back to the Duncan Bruins pregame show. Time to bring in the head coach of the Bruins, Jim Montgomery, which is brought to you by Clinton Savings Bank. Do you know a youth coach that's had a positive impact on their community? Enter that coach to win a $500 Dick Sporting Goods gift card for their team. Nominate your coach and get full details at clintonsavings.com slash coach. Member FDIC, member DIF. Mike, we were talking with Morgan Geeky following the game in Carolina. He said one of the things that that he felt impressed him was how fast the Bruins played. And it's something I know you preach. He said sometimes we get away from it. Did it really stick out to you in that game against the Carolina Hurricanes? Yeah, I thought that's the fastest we've played in a while. Um, and I think it's why we were able to get three or four odd men rushes in that first period. 
Bruins won four of six, completing a grueling road stretch uh, against some of the best teams in the National Hockey League. Did playing those teams in those surroundings bring something out of your group? I thought it did. I thought it, we went to another level. I think we're playing the hardest, most physical, most cohesive brand of hockey that we've played all year. As a coach, are you also seeing some repetition in the Bruins game, doing it again and again? Yeah, we're starting to really see it with our confidence growing in third periods. You talked about Brad Marchand being Mr. 400, scoring his uh, milestone goal the other night in Carolina. Can you explain, as a guy who played in the NHL, how hard it is to score goals? Oh, it's so hard, you know, and he's constantly going for the last eight to ten years against the best decor and the best checking forward. So it makes it even harder and more impressive what he's been able to do. Danton Heinen is the Bruins nominee for the Masterton Trophy in the National Hockey League. You've known him more than really anybody else in this organization. What makes him tick? I think he's uh, a hockey rink rat uh what makes him tick is he loves the game of hockey uh he thinks the game of hockey constantly and he's always looking at ways to improve his own game that line with danton hein and david posternock and pavel zaka has really started to click collectively what are you seeing here in the last couple of games well i, I think um pasta has taken leadership upon himself with that line uh communicating really well and I think Pasta and Denton Hyen have taken their games to another level. You mentioned that it's the same lineup here for the Bruins today. The only change is the goaltender. One of the things that you did want to see in Thursday's game was getting a guy like Jesper Boquist a few more minutes. So how did it look? I think Jesper's been really good in our last two games. Um, you know, I had a good meeting with him before two games ago, and I said, it's, you know, it's time to take your game to another level, and I think he has, which is something we need as a team. We need players to continue to grow and push themselves out of our comfort zone. We also saw a few different pairs, um, aside from the Lindholm McAvoy pair. So what did you see from Carlo and Watherspoon, Grizzly and Peak? I really liked, um, you know, the other two pairings. I liked how... Uh, physical they were, their gaps, and how cohesive they were. Now, that being said, um, I am making a change there. I want to see Witherspoon and Peak together tonight because they play a physical brand of hockey, and I want them against uh, uh, Florida's physical lines. What have you done well against Florida in the season series? I think we um, have not given up a lot of odd man rushes. I think that our special teams in the games against Florida have been good, and I think that our ozone play has been pretty um, smart with our decision-making. Florida it seemed like wanted to send a message in the last meeting. Do the Bruins have a reply today? Oh, uh, Bruins are going to go out and play Bruins hockey. We're going to get our fans involved. And <laughs> if it gets really physical, so be it. <laughs> Good luck this afternoon, Monty. Thanks. That's the head coach, Jim Montgomery. Stay with us. The Bruins and the Panthers are coming up next. This is Boston Bruins Hockey, driven by the versatile Honda CRV, available at your local New England Honda dealers. Cross to Esposito, shot to go. Nathan Horton wins game seven in overtime. Charlie McAvoy, an overtime winner. The Bruins are brought to you by Duncan, VA New England, Granite City Electric GCE Nitrate, Valvoline Instant Oil Change, Tito's Handmade Vodka, Live Nation, Nissan, Avidia Bank, the Fuel Rewards Program from Shell, Peerless Boilers, Coors Banquet, the Peterson School, Clinton Savings Bank, and by Shaw's and Star Market. his first NHL shutout. And by Catches Law, TD Bank, Ticketmaster, Town Fair Tire, your New England Ford dealers, Charles D. Sheehy, UMass Lowell, Timberline Construction, Service Credit Union, Bosch Tools, and by DraftKings Sportsbook. Back to war. Put in. The Stanley Cup Final for the third time this decade. Now, here's John Surratt and Bob Beers. This afternoon here at TD Garden, the Bruins are going to try and sweep all four games of the regular season series against the Panthers and take a six-point lead over Florida in the Atlantic. Your keys. Yeah, pretty simple. Handle the forecheck. I mean, that's, uh, that's what... Florida's bread and butter, right? Go after you, get that puck in deep, put it behind the defenseman, make them go back and get it, and make sure that they establish their forecheck. So how quickly can the Bruins get back, make the good read, make the good first pass, and get themselves out of the zone and get going back the other way? That and the Bruins' power play, still trying to get that on track. The keys to the game are brought to you by Town Fair 
Tire for the guaranteed lowest prices on tires. Go to Town Fair Tire because nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. We'll drop the puck here on Causeway Street when we return. On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Chocolate and pretzel? Pretzel and chocolate! Mmm. Sweet, salty, crunchy flips. This flips everything. When your celebration of life is prepaid in advance, it becomes a gift from you to your family later because no one should have to plan for a loss while they're experiencing one. Paying in advance protects your loved ones and gives you the peace of mind you deserve. Let us help you plan every detail with professionalism and compassion. We're your local Dignity Memorial provider. Find us at DignityMemorial.com. Only place to hear the game, the Sports Hub. The first five minutes are presented by your New England Ford dealers. Now during Truck Month, get a great deal on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 47 years straight. Bruins organist Ron Poster. Please welcome Todd Angeli. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars throw the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch. So gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled and I yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the Todd Angeli with the National Anthem here this afternoon. We get set for the Panthers and the Bruins. We look at our starting lineups here today. Sergei Bobrovsky in between the pipes for the Florida Panthers. On defense, the pairing of Oliver ekman Larson and Gustav Forsling. And up front, Vladimir Tarasenko, Sam Reinhart, and Alexander Barkov. For the Bruins, Linus Allmark gets the call and goal. Charlie McAvoy, Hampus Lindholm, your defenseman. Up front, Pavel Zaka centering for Dan Heinen and David Pasternak. The starting lineup is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code SPORTSHUB. New customers can bet 5 bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets only with DraftKings Sportsbook with code SPORTSHUB. The crown is yours. Your referees today, Dan O'Rourke and Kelly Sutherland. The linesman Tyson Baker and Dan Kelly. Bruins working left to right here in this opening stanza. We're in the black Centennial home jerseys, white numbers and letters outlined in Centennial Gold, Florida. 
in their road whites, blue numbers, blue letters, along with some red trim on the sleeves and the socks. They dropped the puck. McAvoy cranked it in. Fourth and final meeting of the regular season between the Bruins and the Panthers is underway. Barkov, who has points in each of his last six, had it stripped by Zaka, and the Bruins will set it up back in their own zone. Up the far side, Heinen squeezes the puck into the far corner. Racing is Zaka to try and get it. Points in each of his last seven. Zaka far corner. Now far side, Reinhardt tried to pull it off the wall. Gustav Forsling with it. He'll motor up the left side. The Bruins changing. That's his second streak now in a while. He had one going there before. He did. Bad hop out in front. It's fired. They score! Matthew Kachuk gets a hometown bounce and fires it in by Lena Somar. 37 seconds in, one nothing Panthers. Oh, terrible, terrible bounce here for the Bruins. This puck dumped in around the boards, down this left wing side, and it just comes right out in front. Is that the same spot that we had? That's where, right where the Zamboni is. Remember that a couple games ago? We we're back here. I couldn't tell if it was up on the glass or not. If it's up on the glass, you never know where that puck's going to go. But the Bruins are anticipating to come all the way around. And Kachuk, right off the bench after the dump in, he picks up that loose puck in the slot and fires it by the blocker side of Allmark. Bruins had to play from behind on three different occasions in the last meeting and won the game 4-3. to three. Here's Coyle, far circle. He'll spin, feeds right circle to peak, fires, kicked out by Bobrovsky. There's a rebound available. Kicked at and pulled out of there. And Montour and by Marchand Kachuk. going at it in front. Puck sent up the near side. Here's Cousins. He'll knuckle it into the Bruins zone. one nothing Panthers just over a minute into the game. Indirect off the wall. Geeky saw the hit coming, and Mahura got the worst of that. Now Mahura up left wing over the red line. He'll drill it in. Around it comes to the far side. Back of the net. Carlo looked to reverse it. Far corner held in by Losterina. Flipped up top. Now right point. Kulikov ripped it into the near corner. Mahura fired it over to the near side. And the Bruins chip it up the near wall, and out to center ice comes Frederick. One hands it just inside the Florida line. Digging away down low is Boquist. Hacked over to the near side. Out in front, it's turned over. Boquist, as he was turning, lost his footing. And the Panthers have it. The Bruins are going to change. 18.09 left here on the first. one nothing Florida. Mahura waits behind his nets. He's got Mikola to his right, hits him with a pass, and the big Finnish defenseman will drive it in. Over to the near side, Gadjevich. He's been in and out of the lineup here lately for the Florida Panthers. Lomberg with a steal, and then he got knocked off the puck by McAvoy. The Bruins then lose the puck far side. Here's Lindholm, gave it away, jumping in with Stenland. He's got 10 goals playing on the fourth line this year. Puck hacked to the far corner. Lindholm with it. Lauko has to get a new twig from the bench. And the Bruins chip it out to center ice. Here's Lauko over the line high slot. His drive deflects high over the protective netting, and we've got to stop. 17-26 left here in the first one off the Panthers. Yeah, that's there, that fourth line out there. Stenland centering for Lomberg and Gadjevich. And we're just watching that dump in again. That puck was up on the glass, though. Remember, that we had the issue with the... Right by the Zamboni door, and they were working on it. It was right after the high school tournament was in here, and they were working on it in-game that day. This one was a bounce off the glass. You never know what kind of bounce you're going to get off the stanchion. The Florida bounce, and, but you still got to be able to finish it off, and that's exactly what Kachuk did. Right side at center ice, Barkov. He'll chip it down the right wing boards, and we've got to stop and play as this puck leaves the surface. 17-15 left here in the first. one nothing Panthers. A little bit of puck luck, and... And then they finish it off the right way. It's one way to get an assist. All right, just dump it in off the glass. And next thing you know, it's in the back of the net. He only had one assist in the first three games against the Bruins. A little discussion with all the striped shirts in the far circle of the Bruins. Trying to figure out where the face off, face off should be. And keep it inside the zone. By the way, Pittsburgh won that game. We were talking about it prior, too. They, Tampa tied it up at four. Pittsburgh scored. Michael Bunting scored the game winner in the third period. He's been a nice addition for the Pen Penguins. I know that they lost Gensel in that deal, but Bunting has filled a good role for them. He's a guy Kyle Dubas knows well from his time in Toronto. Puck pounded back of the Bruins net. Minholm got tripped up as he was chasing back of the net. And the puck squirts to the middle. Here's Pasternak. He'll fling it to the center circle. Fifth in the league in goals and points. 
Far side at center ice, drilled in deep by the Panthers. Reinhardt will head off and change after doing that. Allmark sets it up behind his net. Now Lindholm up the right side to McAvoy. Center circle, accelerates up the line, high slot, shoots, and Bobrovsky takes it in. 16.42 left here in the first, and then McAvoy draws a crowd of Panthers in the far corner. But yeah, after he separates. took the shot, he was heading towards the net, and Montour making sure he didn't get there. Kachuk from Tarasenko and Forsling, 37 seconds in, has the Panthers up 1-0. Face off in the right circle of Florida end. Coyle, Marchand, and Geeky out there for Jim Montgomery. This is Geeky's second consecutive game playing with the other two forwards. And it was Geeky who set up Brad Marchand for his 400th career goal. Coyle's kicked out of there, so Geeky will step in and take it. And Bennett wins it. He'll flip it back of his net. Mikola drives over to the far side, scraped it off the wall. He hit his own guy, but it's carried out by Montour. His backhand ahead, deflected by Cousins into the Bruins zone. Cousins along the near side. A solid hit from Geeky back of the net. Kachuk threw it up top. Montour had it hit him in the skates, and the Bruins exit. Now far side in the neutral zone. Peak will backpedal into his own zone. A Parkland, Florida native. And a huge fan of the Panthers when he was a kid. Bruins drive the puck deep. Back of the net, Geeky with a shoulder. And the Panthers will head the other way. Here's Cousins up the left side. Knocked off stride by Carlo. And the Bruins have it. Banked ahead looking for Carlo. It's deflected. So Bobrovsky has to play it back of the net. Frederick with a hit. Pride free by Boquist. Up top, Carlo shoots. Hit to Brusque just inside the near circle. And now up the right side is Kulikov. Poke check by the back pressure of the Bruins. The Panthers bring it in. The Bruins now control. They'll flick it up the right side and back into the floor to end. 15-35 left here in the first. one nothing Panthers. Forsling hits the brakes. He signed a, a big eight-year extension in early March to stay in Florida. What a find he has been for the Panthers. Well, Florida's become that place. I mean, Tampa's been that one for a while. And, you know, Vegas is certainly in that area now but the you know, destination the players want to go a brand new practice rink down there successful franchise here recently been knocking on the door for the last few years last year they break through and get all the way to the finals i'm sure billy zito is hoping he can get a few hometown discounts yep. he's got some big guys up it. for contracts gonna need it over the line left side watherspoon he'll rim it around to the near side Ooh. out it puck flipped out in front and nearly deflected into his own net by stenlin as we got a meeting of the minds in the blue paint in front of Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky will leave the crease. 14.51 left here in the first. one nothing Panthers. Yeah, that was a bounce as well. Buck dumped in off the glass and kind of bounced out in front. Bobrovsky had to be alert to make sure he covered that up before any damage was done. A couple black shirts lurking around the front of the net. That's a chip by Van Riemsdyk, and it went off the wall right back out in front. You said it. Stenlin tried to play it almost... Kind of half put it on his own net there, and Bobrovsky was ready for it. Had a good eye on it the whole way. Bobrovsky picked up the shutout in Ottawa the other night, tied for second in the league in wins. He's fourth in goals against and tenth in save percentage. And they've gotten some terrific work out of their backup goaltender this year, Anthony Stolarz. He just barely qualifies for the goaltenders included in best goals against his save percentage. He's number one in both categories. Puck trickled out to the neutral zone and the Bruins guided back into their own zone. Lindholm back to get it. He's got Tarasenko on his tail. Avoids him. It's backhanded up the near side. Pasternak thought about dishing it to the middle. He'll skate it himself out to center ice. And the puck kicked to the right of Bobrovsky. He'll yeah, poke he it to the near corner. Wasn't moving all that quick. He was looking to make a pass with Pasternak and then changed his mind and ended up holding on to it. Here's Heinen, far hash. To McAvoy in the slot, shoots, he scores! That's a career high, 11 goals for McAvoy, and he knocks the game at one. Oh, great look here from Dan Heinen. Left wing side on his backhand. About half wall on the left wing side. And he's going to make a pass through the triangle. So in between the stick and skate. Out into the slot area. The Bruins pick off a puck. That was Lindholm with a strong pinch. 
And then the nice pass from Dan Heinen into the middle. Postnock's parked in front, but it's Charlie McAvoy who picks this puck up and rips this shot low to the glove hand side. I thought it was Reinhardt trying to go down and block it, but ripped it past him and past the glove hand side. Great pass from Heinen and a good pinch from Hampus Lindholm. Alco having a conversation with Cousins. Yeah, he's... Nobody... He's, he's gotten a, a pretty... We have I don't know what the right the word is, but a reputation among his peers, Cousins has this year. I'm sure it started before that, but he's got a pretty good, no, pretty bad reputation among some of his peers and against among, you know, players who have played in this league here. They got him back on the line right now with Kachuk and Bennett, and that's something that they'd gone away from, but they go back to it now the last couple of games. Again, just to reiterate, Carter Verhage and Aaron Ekblad are out essentially for the rest of the regular season. But Paul Maurice is anticipating at least Ekblad will be ready for game one of the playoffs. Puck sizzled into the slot of the Bruins zone. The Bruins trying to exit, unable to do so. Rush to the far side. Sent to the near corner, Bennett. He'll paddle at far corner. Kachuk shoots from a deep angle. All mark the save. And the Bruins an outlet up the left side to Martian. The puck spinning. The Bruins don't exit. High slot. Now it's Cousins. Sent it out in front, rejected by Watherspoon. Far side now, Bennett. Poked it back of the net. Now the Bruins will scoop it up and skate it out. Three on three, Coyle. Motors up the line, high slot. Feeds to Martian. Right circle, Geeky. Shoots Bobrovsky to save. Batted up top. Carlo has it. Fires. Blocker to side. Delayed penalty here on the Panthers. Right point now, Carlo. Extra attacker is on. Flipped into the right corner. And it's touched up by Mikola. Ruins to the power play when we return. One apiece, 13-14 left here in the first. On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Before Shopify, were you wondering, where my sales at? Now you're selling with Shopify, the global commerce platform supercharging your selling. You have no problem selling online, in person, on social media, and beyond. Gary, easy on the cha-ching. <clears throat> oh, sorry, but my Shopify sales are through the roof. Start selling with Shopify today and discover how millions of businesses around the world use Shopify to ignite their selling. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. Shopify.com slash listen. Got dings, dents, scratches, or faded paint? Mako's got you covered. Refresh your ride with your refund during our tax season event because your car deserves to shine. Head to Mako.com to schedule your estimate today. Uh-oh, better get Mako. When your celebration of life is prepaid in advance, it becomes a gift from you to your family later because no one should have to plan for a loss while they're experiencing one. Paying in advance protects your loved ones and gives you the peace of mind you deserve. Let us help you plan every detail with professionalism and compassion. We're your local Dignity Memorial provider. Find us at DignityMemorial.com. Felger and Naz, afternoons 2 to 6 on the Sports Hub. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network. Sports is the Sports Hub. Media Group Station. The first five minutes of today's game were brought to you by your New England Ford dealers. Now during Truck Month, get a great deal on Ford F Series, America's best-selling trucks for 47 years straight. The Bruins with the game's first power play. Nico Mikola off two for interference. Face off far circle in the Panthers end, and the Bruins. Battle for it, far side. Ekman Larson trying to pry it free. Coyle's got it. He'll shovel it over to the near side. Martian flipped it up top quickly. A lot of pressure coming from the Panthers. It's banked out in front. A fortunate bounce. Pocznock had it bounced by him. Sit on net and Bobrovsky to save. Held in by the Bruins. Martian protects. Flicked it over to the near half wall. McAvoy, right corner. Dish back in the cage. Coyle, he's got Zaka in front. Up top, Martian. Hammers a one-timer. Bobrovsky the save. Drilled up top. Here's Martian. Dusts it off. Angles left. 
Feeds it to the high slot and McAvoy, he'll back it off. Now Pasternak rotates up top. Dished it to the open far point, Zaka. Far corner now, Coyle. Pasternak all by himself along the near side. But the Panthers get to it, and it's clear. Yeah, that was actually McAvoy there over on the right wing half wall. Got knocked down trying to dish that puck back to the point. A little bit of movement by the Bruins. A couple shots, including a one-timer from Marshan and up high that time. Bruins 10th in the league in the man advantage. Center circle now. Here's Linehol. He'll wheel it in himself. No problem with the entry. Far corner to Brusque. His shot around the boards of the near side held in by Pasternak. Rink wide for Lindholm. Right circle. Pasternak right of the net. Sent it out in front. It's packed and off some skates. And oh. now you got to hustle back. Zaka had an open net there. Reinhardt over the line right side. Pulls up. Flipped it into the slot. And DeBrusk hustling got it away from Barkov, who had moved up. Great back check. There's Kulikov and Reinhardt were the first two coming up the ice. And Barkov coming late, and that's Jake DeBrusk coming all the way back. What a pass from Pasternak. Bruins cough it up out in front. And Olmark, a big stop. Short-handed on Lundell. Now DeBrusk will motor up the middle. Nine seconds left in the power play. Over the line, left side, McAvoy. Who squared the game at one. Feeds back of the cage. Forsling had his stick lifted. Near corner now to Brusque. McAvoy had gotten knocked down. Centered out in front. Pulled out of there by Forsling. Trying to spin away from Boquist. Hits the brakes again and Florida back to full strength. We've played nine minutes. Each team with a goal. Center circle. It's Cousins. He'll golf it into the right oh. corner. What is that call? We're going to have a penalty here, apparently, on the Bruins. Frederick tried to make a hit on Cousins. They're going to call him for high stick, it looks like. Is that where it was? Maybe it's the opposite. They had the puck. Yeah. Frederick was going for the hit. Cousins came up with the stick. What a save there by Allmark. After the Bruins got a little loose with the puck. A couple times they've been loose with the puck inside their own zone coming out. I, I, Cousins had the puck here, so uh, my guess is this was a hit that Fred, Frederick was trying to make. And Cousins, I mean, he was just kind of a follow-through, but a high follow-through, I guess. Not much. Bruins going back to work on the power play in a 1-1 game. 10:49 left here in the first. Zaka in for the draw. Florida wins it. They deal it back of the net, but can't get to it. Paddled up to the near side. Marchand tested. He'll bang it into the right corner. Coyle saucered up top. Grabbed by McAvoy. What a pass that was. Zaka to the far circle. Pasternak. He'll drill it across. Up top now McAvoy. Stick handles and looks. Right circle Marchand. Back to McAvoy up top. Sent it to the far corner. It's Coyle. Played it off the wall. Dished up top Pasternak. Relayed to Zaka. High slot McAvoy. Shoots. Blocked. And the rebound just caroms off Los Torino in and out. It's, it's kind of right in between being patient and taking the shot when it's available to you. And that time it really wasn't available. Los Torino had it, but he couldn't fire it in deep. Brought in by Pasternak. Flipped to the near side. Held in along the near wall by the Bruins. Zaka jamming away to him as Mikola. And the Panthers get to it. They'll crank it off the glass and all the way down. The Florida penalty kill, seventh in the league, number one on the road. Up the middle, here's McAvoy, out to center ice. He'll leave it for the late coming Pasternak. Pasternak wheels over the line right side. Geeky returns it along the near wall. Mikola got a piece of it, and he clears it. Hallmark sets it up. He'll bang it up the near side. Geeky, rink wide in the neutral zone. Lindholm carries on, snapped it in. Bobrovsky couldn't stop it. Near corner, Forsling jousting for it. Bruins in the power play, another 30 seconds. Left circle, Lindholm shoots just wide. Going blocker side. Near point, Van Riemsdyk. Across to Lindholm. Into the slot, looking for DeBrusque. He had DeBrusque going to the net. DeBrusque beat his man there. Van Riemsdyk, right of the net. DeBrusque to Van Riemsdyk, right circle. Up top, Heinen. Now rotating near hash, it's DeBrusque, right of the net. Van Riemsdyk sent it across. It's denied. Poked over to the near side. The power play time for Heinen. Here's Lindholm, shoots, Bobrovsky the save, and he juggles, but then holds his own rebound as Van Riemsdyk is prevented from getting to it. One second left in the Cousins penalty. The power play's had more energy today than maybe we've seen it in uh, a few times past, but still no results from it. 
That shot got through. Van Riemsdyk right in front, looking for a, some loose change. Doesn't get it. Bobrovsky able to hold on and puck off his blocker, but able to get a glove on it. Jim Montgomery mentioned before the game, he said, well, I understand the power play hasn't scored lately. I'm not concerned about it. He said we're working on a few new things that hopefully come playoff time become natural. Face off in the near circle of Florida zone. Off the draw. Geeky has his stick tied up by Montour. Coyle gets it. Florida two for two on the penalty kill. Along the near side, here's Cousins. He'll wheel ahead. Bend it over the line high slot. Send it to the right point, and it's drilled on net by Kachuk. Gloved by Allmark. We'll take a timeout. 8.34 left here in the first. Bruins won. Panthers won. On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. How powerful is Cox Internet? Powerful enough to let your band members in Vegas, Phoenix, and Rhode Island jam like you're all in the same garage. Get gig speeds powered by fiber from Cox. It's Internet built for tomorrow, today. Cox, always building better. Download speeds up to 1 gigabit per second. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial connection. Speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Cox terms and other restrictions may apply. Best Western made booking our family beach vacation a breeze, and it felt a little like... <laughs> Time to go, gang. Aww. Okay, kids. Back in the room. Good night, kiddos. Life's a trip. Make the most of it at Best Western. The Honda you want is here, so drive in the moment with the versatile Honda CRV or Accord, all from the 2023 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value brand. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord and a 2.9% APR on a 2024 CRV. See dealer for financing details based on 2023 brand image words from Kelly Blue Book. Visit KBB.com for more information. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. The home of the bees, the sports hub. For every goal the Bruins score this season, Tito's Handmade Vodka will donate $100 to the Cam Neely Foundation, up to $10,000. Face off in the far circle of the Bruins zone. Linus Allmark back in net after picking up the shutout in Music City against the Nashville Predators. His head coach said, I thought he was spectacular, and he made some hard saves look easy. He was just... I mean, we talked about it after the game, right? Or even during the game, he just was, looked like he was in complete control. Bruins win the draw. Grizzlick dusts it off, swings it up the left side. It trickles in front of the Panthers bench. Forsley went for the hit, got knocked down by Pasternak. First hit, Pasternak knew he was coming. Remember in the last meeting, he registered a big reverse hit that floored Matthew Kachuk. It triggered a goal for the Bruins. Now Tarasenko flipped it around to the right point in the Bruins end. Sent deep by Ekman Larson. Back of the net. Reinhardt poked it out in front and it's drilled wide by Barkov. Along the near side, Reinhardt second in the league in goals. He fires. It's deflected into the protected netting. As Bruins hockey is presented by Timberline Construction, providing truly exceptional service in construction management, pre-construction, design build, and due diligence support. Learn more at TimberlineConstruction.com. Timberline Construction, exceptional, no exceptions. Reinhardt and his group is going to head off. He's second in the league with 53 goals. It's a career high, 11th with a career high, 89 points. Zach Hyman's right there, isn't he, as well? He is. 52, maybe? 53? Of course, Austin Matthews, Austin Matthews with 60, 63. 63 now. Face off near circle in the Bruins zone. Cousins will lean in to take it against Coyle after Bennett got kicked out. 52 for Zach Hyman. What a year he's had. What a signing he's been for the Oilers. 
Our side in the neutral zone, Kachuk bumped it back to the red line. Montour, who will also be an unrestricted free agent at season's end. This puck apparently sent it offside. A little bump in the near corner. Bennett Buzz. with a tap on on Watherspoon, and now the tempers start to go up a little bit. Started with Watherspoon and Cousins. Watherspoon gave Cousins a little tap as the whistle went. We saw a lot of this in the last meeting between these two teams just over a week ago. 7.43 left here in the first tied at one. Marshan in there with Montour. Somebody's got Marshan a face wash. That's Montour. Well, Montour's got him from behind, right? Everybody's starting to separate a little bit. Florida, per game, second most penalties, or penalty minutes per game in the league. And they take a lot of minors. Second. Faceoff, because the defense came down and got involved, the faceoff will come out to center ice. Both teams will change the crew that they have out on the ice. Paul Maurice in his 26th season as a head coach in the National Hockey League. Second year that he's been behind the bench in Florida. He's now the active leader in wins with 865, fourth all time. He just passed Lindy Ruff by one win. Puck drilled in by Mahura. It's sent around to the far side. Far corner now, Grizzly. And a sidestep the Rodriguez check. Those two guys. Has played together at BU. Now Grizzly gets up, poked it to Carlo, drills it up the near side, and it's deflected to the near point, but not out. And the Bruins double back to fire it back into the Panthers' end. One apiece, Kachuk for the Panthers, McAvoy for the Bruins. Puck sails into the near corner of the Bruins' end. And behind the play, Frederick got knocked down. Well, he was, he was already down, but I think he took a high stick. Referees... And we got his arm up, delayed penalty. This is going to be the third power play for the Bruins. And Freddie's barking at the Florida bench right now as he heads off. And here's Krizlik. Up the right side, Marcian on a Pasternak. Don't know if it was intentional or not, but... Pasternak skates back into his own zone. Feeds to the far circle. Now Lindholm scored into an empty net to close things in Carolina. Now Florida touches up and we'll get a look. Well, it's all right to get these power plays. You got to make them pay at some point. It's going to be Lundell. I, I don't think it was intentional on Lundell. Oh, he got tripped up. Or Lundell tripped him. Then got the stick up a little bit. But it was more the trip, I think. I don't think it was. I mean, Frederick was already down when he got the stick in the face. It was the tripping. That's how he lost his balance in the first place. And Frederick has drawn two penalties here. Now it's up to the Bruins to finish it off. Frederick scored a big power play goal in the last meeting between these two. Face off far circle. You, you know the Bruins are going to get the next one, right? <laughs> Put it this way. I won't be surprised if that's the case. Osterin and couldn't get the puck out. Near side, it's flagged by Forsling, and he'll rip it all the way down. 6.23 left here in the first. One apiece. Here's McAvoy. He'll wheel up the right side at the red line. Hands to Coil. Passed it through some legs to a speeding Zaka. Lost it as he penetrated. Poked back into the neutral zone. Here's Stenlin over the line far side. And his shot deflected off of McAvoy's stick and over the glass. Let's see if they make a change here. Postnock's going off the ice quickly. There's a minute and a half left in this power play. He just went right off the ice. They will make a wholesale change. Whether it's David Pasternak or Brad Marchand, one of the things that both of those guys have talked about is a lack of communication that has to improve on the man advantage. I think there's some frustration brewing for Pasternak to go off the ice with a minute 31 to go in the power play after that quick whistle. It's, it's building, despite what they say. <laughs> Here's Geeky. Feeds to the center circle Lindholm. He'll rip it into the far corner. Deflected back of the net by Bobrovsky, rimmed over to the near side, held in by Van Riemsdyk. Panthers get to it, can't get it out, and now they do. It's sent 
rolling it's, back into the Bruins' end. It's a, it's a deflator when you're not doing anything on the power play. I mean, they had some decent pressure the first couple, and now they got to get going again. Bruins guided over the line. Nice entry. Van Riemsdyk set up DeBrusque. Bruins haven't had a hard time getting in. Far corner Van Riemsdyk. Backhands it up top. Lindholm protects. And then it's cued off of his skate now to center ice. They're going to make a change again, get that top unit back out there for the last 40 seconds or so. Now Geeky with a step into the right circle. Shoots, and Bobrovsky takes it in. He came out to cut down the angle. 37 seconds left on the Lundell penalty. 5-12 left here in the first, one apiece. Faceoff will be in the right circle of Florida end. Brad Marchand hops on. Picked up his 400th career goal on Thursday night, and he's only two goals away from his sixth 30-goal season. Coyle taps the stick. He'll dig down. And now kicked out of the draw. Zaka will step in and take it against Bennett. Crouch is down. Bennett kicks it back of the net. Little time and room for Kachuk, and he'll flip it up the middle and down. All mark the paddle down settles it for McAvoy. He'll wheel ahead up the middle now Poshnok covers the line right side to the right circle Set it out in front off a skate. Oh, he had Zaka going to the net Zaka had a half step that time looking for that pass and Went off the skate Up the right side is coil over the red line He'll flip it to himself in the near corner gets by Forsling scraped it around to the far side picked off by Barkov and cleared and Florida back to full strength. The Bruins 0 for 3 on the power play. Puck slammed over to the far side. Barkov had it and lost it. Beecher back of the net. Along the near side, McAvoy banked it. Peak rips it up the far side. Speeding in. Here's Beecher to the far circle. Left of the cage. Back of the net. Over to the near side. Sent it out in front. Oh! And it's flipped into the slot by Reinhardt. Just to the left of Olmark. Drilled over to the far side. Lauko. And out to center ice, the Bruins will roll one into the right corner of the Panthers' end. Bruins doing some changing with just under four minutes left here in the first in a 1-1 game. Along the near side, Lundell. He'll knuckle it into the near corner. Back to get it is Grizzly. Grizzly feeds it along the near side to Brusque. Paddles it ahead. Banked down low by Frederick. And we're going to have an icing call here on the Bruins. That's another icing call sponsored by Tito's Handmade Vodka. Enjoy the game of a glass of Tito's on ice. Tito's Cocktail of the Week is the Tito's Transfusion. For today's recipe, go to 985thesportshub.com. It's afternoon, Judd. You looking for your transfusion yet? <laughs> I think I'm going to get one after the game. All right. All right. Bend it in for the draw. I think some, some people around here have already gotten into it. Along the near side, Mikola after the face-off win. It's drilled into the near corner of the Bruins' end. Grizzly cut it off. Crunched against the wall by Cousins. Flipped around to the far side. DeBrusque racing for it. Now Kulikov, who scored the other day in Ottawa. Puck jammed into the near corner. Along the near side, Mikola. Cranked it along the near side. Grizzly zipped it back of the net. Carlo, his bank pass won't get out. Out in front. The saucer pass to Cousins. Couldn't get a stick on him. The Bruins will bounce one down the length of the ice, and that group's going to have to stay on in black and centennial goal. Yeah, you know, a couple passes in this first period that have some of them under pressure, some of them not so much, and, and that one I think Brandon Carlo would like to have back. He's looking up the left wing wall. Really doesn't have a whole lot there. And, you know, Florida just jumps the... The winger and, and keeps that puck in all of a sudden, you know, it's putting the puck back on net. That's happened a couple times here in this first period. Frederick wins the draw along the near side. Rodriguez cut it off. Near side. Carlo tries the far wall. DeBrus challenged by Mikola. Yeah, same group out there right now for the Bruins. Use a change. Far side now. Rodriguez hacked it up top. Mikola paddles it down low. Carlo cut. Cuts it off, throws it to the far side. No winger there. Along the far wall in the corner, it's Losterinen up to the right point. Mikola. Now the shot dribbles out in front, and Olmark will freeze it. The only time the puck got to the net, but the Bruins just hemmed in their own zone there, just trying to get it out and trying to make good plays coming up out of their end. 
2.36 left here in the first. Bruins one and the Panthers one on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. So you've got an idea for a business, the store of your dreams. There's just one thing to figure out, everything. That's why Shopify's all-in-one commerce platform makes it easy to sell online, in person, and everywhere else. Sell on social media, source products with an app to get that first sale feeling. It's the only solution that gives you everything you need to sell everywhere you want. So when you're ready to bring your idea to life, power it up with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. When you find a deal on your favorite thing in the McDonald's app and order it, does that technically count as online shopping? Save money with the app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. At participating McDonald's, prices may vary. Connect with Boston's home for sports online, 98.5thesportshub.com. The Bruins' first power play was brought to you by Bosch Tools, engineered for efficiency, comfort, and ease. Bosch Tools are built to keep workers going at full strength. Bosch Tools, what hard workers deserve. Face off in the far circle in the Bruins' end. While the Bruins have gone scoreless in the power play and three chances here thus far in the game, Florida... One of the best power plays in the league is scoreless in the season series on the power they, play. They've been in a drought here recently, <clears throat> just overall. Bruins win the faceoff. Lindholm swerves behind his net. He'll drill it up the left wing boards. Bruins don't get it out. But then it's deflected deep into the Florida zone. I thought the Florida Whoa. Panthers fired this puck, <laughs> and the linesman... Post. Thought it was one of the Bruins. Oh no, it was it was the Bruins. It was it was Heinen, but I thought Bostock was there first. Uh, Bostock's hustling down the ice. He's right there. He, having a long conversation with the linesman and the referee now coming back up the ice. Face off near circle in the Bruins end. I think they're saying because of the angle of it, the way it was going. That I'm guessing. So they can judge that, but they can't judge pucks over the glass. Far side in the neutral zone, Barkov. He'll drill it along the near side. Tarasenko flings it in. Back of the net, Allmark. Poke to the near corner, Zaka. Two guys go to him. Can the Bruins get it off the wall? They do, and they fling it out to center ice. Off of Pasternak. But this is going to be icing again with uh, Bruins 59 have had left here in the first. Four of them here in the last few minutes. Between the pipes, sponsored by Charles D. Sheehy. If you're in the piping trades, you need to call Charles D. Sheehy, Boston's premier piping and mechanical product supplier. Sheehy is driven to deliver. Between the pipes for Florida here this afternoon, Sergey Bobrovsky for the Bruins, Linus Allmark. Ace off in the near circle, the Bruins in. And they're going to redo this one. It's going to be Zaka against Bennett. Pavel Zaka turning 27 today. Zaka wins the draw. Lindholm with a good bump on Cousins, a second one. But the Bruins can't get it out. Puck rimmed over to the far side. Montour poked it back of the net. Cut off by Lindholm. The Bruins then give it away. But Cousins had his stick checked, and the puck floats out to center ice. So the Bruins can get some changes. Along the near side, Bennett. Poke checked. And mm. guess what? <laughs> the Bruins are going shorthanded. 139 left here in the first in a 1-1 game. Pavel Zaka will head off. And the Panthers will have their first power play of the day. Just too much time in their own zone right now for the Bruins. It's, it's, they got to be able to handle this pressure a little bit better. They've iced the puck a few times. They've had trouble getting it out on a couple of occasions. Face off in the near circle. In the Bruins' end. Sam Reinhardt leads the league with 27 goals in the power play. Right point now. It's Montour. Feeds to the far side. Back up top, Montour. Right circle, Barkov. His pass deflected off of Peak and over the glass. Yeah, Peak and Carlos starting this PK. Zaka with the penalty on Cousins. 
Cousins lost that puck. They'll call him for the slash. Stick didn't break. I don't know if he got the hands or not, but like we said, Bruins had the first three power plays. You kind of expected him to get a penalty at some point. Not only did the stick not break, it didn't come out of his hands. No, no, but he didn't get his hand. Nope. He got the shaft. Far corner peak, trying to dig away. And it's deflected to the middle just by Tarasenko. He'll hustle to keep it into the near point. Cut off by Carlo. Nice pivot around Kachuk, yeah. but he can't get it out. Right point Montour. Sent to the right corner, Kachuk. Right circle, Barkov shoots. Kicked out by Allmark. Carlo gets on his forehand and just drills it off the wall and out to center ice. 58 seconds left here in the first. He's one on piece. Offside that time. You know, a couple times trying to get that puck out on his backhand. You got two righties playing D in that situation. Puck brought in by the Panthers. Far side, Kachuk. Watched by McAvoy. Up top it comes. Montour wings it into the far corner. Now right point, Kachuk. Rink wide, Tarasenko left in a cage into the slot. Reinhardt paddled it wide. Far point now, Kachuk chewing on that mouth guard. Sent it out in front, deflected down, and Olmark the save, and then Barkov is dropped by McAvoy. Yeah, I mean, McAvoy just came in. Barkov wasn't overly hard. McAvoy kind of led up, but Barkov was already losing his balance. Now Kachuk and McAvoy have a hold of one another. 30 seconds left here in the first, one apiece. And yeah, McAvoy gave him a pretty good stiff arm to knock him down, talking about Barkov. That faceoff should be outside the zone, should it not? Let's see where the linesman set up. They had five white jerseys in there for a scrum. And it looks like the linesmen are setting up in the neutral zone. So 29.7 seconds remaining in the first, one apiece. Florida's power play fifth overall in the league. The Bruins PK eighth, eight for eight here this season. Up against the Florida Panthers in the season series. Frederick in for the draw in front of the Bruins bench against Lundell. Got goals in each of his last two. Frederick trying to knife the puck free. He's got it. And he'll whisk it softly into the far corner of the Panthers end. Goes to chase. Ekman Larson almost had it intercepted. Bennett, 17 seconds left. He'll skate it ahead. Angles left into the neutral zone. To Lundell over the line. Tries to thread it through some legs. Carlo got a piece of that peak. Drove it over to the far side. Marchand knocked it down. His wrister finds Frederick. He'll rip it all the way down. Glove by Bobrovsky. And that's going to do it for the first period. Florida will have 21 seconds of power play time to begin the second. At the end of one, Bruins won, Panthers won. Piercy and I will bring you back for the NHL Plays of the Week coming up next on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the... When you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home... Yes, cool. ...or attending one live... No! You'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. No tienes que esperar a que te paguen para finalmente invitar a tus papás a comer. Solo te tiene que salir una oferta de sus favoritos en el McDonald's app. Ahorra con el app. Para pa pa pa. En McDonald's participantes. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com/internet. Other restrictions apply. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position, with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives and drive. 
This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with an app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave single, Dave single, order in the app. Dave single, Dave single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamper or March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. The offer details and redeem at Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S. and Alaska. The Celtics play here at the Sports Hub. So far today, the Bruins have won 12 face-offs. So WellPoint, formerly Unicare, Charlie Coyle, and Franklin Sports will donate $180 to provide Franklin Sports street hockey equipment to 15 Massachusetts towns to help kids get out and play to improve their mental health. So far, they've donated donated $4,785 on their way to $15,000. Get started on your path to whole health now at wellpoint.unicare.com. We've hit the first intermission here at TD Garden. The Bruins won and the Panthers won. This week, the race for the second wildcard spot in the Eastern Conference remained up for grabs. John Hines and the Minnesota Wild rolled the dice in overtime and came up short. Austin Matthews' quest for 70 goals continued, and Brad Marchand scored a milestone goal. That and much more. Here are your NHL Plays of the Week. Kraus leaves it back out to the far wing for Schmaltz. He has it poked away from him. Back out to center ice. Feathered back out to Lafreniere. Fires it into the empty net for the hat trick. As hats come raining down the ice. As Alexei Lafreniere is going to get the hat trick. And the Rangers will take an eight. Home and now to the far wing. McLeod lost it. Side. Break away. In. Shoots. Score. Shot blocked by O'Connor. Loose far circle. It'll be lobbed out by Rust. Bouncing puck handled by Hughes. This plate score. It was stolen by Sidney Crosby. <laughs> he just schooled the rookie. Wow. And that should be the put away. Six to three. The bouncing puck to Luke Hughes and Crosby finds a way. Puck thrown in deep, Omar cut it off, he'll drill it off the glass, down it goes. Marchand's got it at center ice, he's with Coyle, into the slot, Coyle short-handed, walks in, shoots, he scores! Charlie Coyle, top shelf, short-handed, one nothing Bruins! Face off in the circle to the right. Uh, Vasilevsky, one nothing Tampa Bay. The draw one cleanly by Tavares, one-timer and the far side scores! He's got 63 of them! They call it the left circle. He's checked. He's gonna come up with it. Jordan Harris had it lost in point. Right circle, left circle. Kudrov, score! Kudrov on the one-timer. Well, the Lightning won the puck battle along the near boards, and Point was able to step clear in a two-on-one situation down low. He went cross ice to Kudrov, who had basically an open net. He didn't miss. Lightning have another power play goal, and they lead 6-2. Now Brock Nelson digging free. Islanders quick shot, empty net. They score! Kyle Palmieri buries it and makes it 4-2 Islanders with 38 seconds remaining in regulation time. Monahan at center onto the far side. Millardi to the empty net. Moving right in, and he tapped it in, and he scores! Gabe Millardi's first hat-trick as a Winnipeg Jet. Let the hat strain down. Volardi. Five to two, Winnipeg. Over to the near wall. Coyle chipped it ahead. Up right wing. Geeky. Over the line. What a break. It's Marchand. Backhand. He scores! Brad Marchand. His 400th goal. Grab that puck. It's a milestone marker. Bruins won. Hurricane nothing. Marchand is now only two goals from tying Rick Middleton for fourth all-time on the Bruins franchise scoring list. Scoring summary from the opening 20 minutes. The Bruins had to play from behind. Matthew Kachuk got a really fortunate bounce. 37 seconds in, it came right to him in the slot, and he drilled in his 25th from Vladimir Tarasenko and Gustav Forsling. But Charlie McAvoy even the game with his 11th. That's a new career high from Danton Heinen and Pavel Zaka. 
at 542. Shots on goal in that first period in favor of the Bruins, 9-7 on the power play. The Bruins 0-3. for 3. The Panthers technically 0-1. for 1. They have 21 seconds remaining on a Pavel Zaka penalty for slashing that they'll have to start the second period. I'll bring you back to update the out-of-town NHL scoreboard in just a moment on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins radio network driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. So you've got an idea for a business, the store of your dreams. There's just one thing to figure out, everything. That's why Shopify's all-in-one commerce platform makes it easy to sell online, in person, and everywhere else. Sell on social media, source products with an app to get that first sale feeling. It's the only solution that gives you everything you need to sell everywhere you want. So when you're ready to bring your idea to life, power it up with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. Thanks for calling Discover. This is Gabby. Hey, Gabby. It's Jennifer Coolidge. Hi. I'm, I'm so glad I reached you at 2 a.m. Oh, of course. Anyone with a Discover card can call and talk to a real person 24-7. Now, how can I help? Yeah, I used my Discover card to buy these yellow pleather pajamas, and I'm just not sure I'm pulling them off. 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. It pays to Discover. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. When your celebration of life is prepaid today, your family is protected tomorrow. With us, you'll find patience, compassion, and attention to detail that is second to none. We're your local Dignity Memorial provider. Find us at DignityMemorial.com. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at Cox.com slash Internet. Other restrictions apply. Listen live. Check out our podcast with the 98.5 The Sports Hub app. The Boston Bruins are heading to the playoffs and individual tickets to the 2024 playoffs presented by Rapid 7 are on sale now. Secure tickets to all potential games played at TD Garden for all rounds of the playoffs. For more information and to lock in your seats, visit bostonbruins.com slash playoffs. First intermission here at TD Garden. The Bruins won and the Panthers won. Let's take a quick look at the out-of-town National Hockey League scoreboard. Earlier today, the Penguins won a wild 5-4 affair over the Tampa Bay Lightning. They've gotten underway in Chicago. The Stars and the Blackhawks are scoreless early second period at the United Center. Meanwhile, the Jets own a 2-1 lead over the Minnesota Wild late first period in St. Paul. We'll hear from Hampus Lindholm when we return on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV. That's your local New England Honda dealers. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time, there's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. The Honda you want is here, so drive in the moment with the versatile Honda CRV or Accord, all from the 2023 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value brand. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord and a 2.9% APR on a 2024 CRV. See dealer for financing details based on 2023 brand image words from Kelly Blue Book. Visit KBB.com for more information. For just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. It's fitness that fits your budget. Just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Hey, you. Dan Hanover from Event Marketer here. I want to make sure that you've put April 24th to the 26th on your calendar to be at the Experiential Marketing Summit in Las Vegas. We got event trends, we got experiential best practices, and we got a ton of case studies and more, all presented by 50 brand side speakers. Got a ton of networking, peer-to-peer meetups, excursions. You cannot miss this. You must sign up right now at emsummit.com. And hey, use code EMSDAN50 to knock 50 bucks off your ticket. 
BackstageCountry.com, your online home for all things country music. Like most of us, Keith Urban also has a bucket list. You may be surprised to learn what is and is not on his. Text Keith to 45911 to read and learn more about the central theme of Keith's bucket list. Get a link to the story sent right to your phone when you text Keith to 45911. Go inside country music at BackstageCountry.com. Eyes feeling dry, tired, stressed? Get a boost of moisture with BioTrue Hydration Boost Eye Drops for comfort throughout the day. They're preservative-free, gentle, and made with... Hampus Lindholm. Hampus, how much more dangerous is Charlie McAvoy when he has that shooting mentality? Yeah, I know. He's got a great shot. He's got to use it even more than he does, but no, it's fun to see him jumping out there and the shooting and obviously getting goal there. It's big for us. I know the Bruins had a couple of chances with the man advantage. What is the team still trying to work through so it can start to click on a more regular basis? Yeah, no, I think we need to be more of a shoot threat. They got to get the pucks instead of looking for the next guy to be the shot threat. Be, be that guy yourself, get the puck to the net, and then go from there. Last thing, Lindy, and your head coach kind of references before the game. Have you been playing a more direct brand of hockey here lately? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. I think he's trying to focus on uh, using my legs. Uh, that's the strength of mine, and uh, being poised with the puck and making plays. Thanks, Lindy. Thank you. It's only human to be passionate, loyal, and all in when it comes to the Bruins, and it's only human to expect the same from your bank. And just like every season, TD will be here for all the wins, losses, and memorable moments. TD Bank, the bank of the Boston Bruins, member FDIC, TD Bank, N.A. All teams back on the ice. We're about ready to start the second period. Mavosaka still has 21 seconds of a minor penalty to serve, so the Panthers will begin on the power play. Bruins working right to left here in this period. Just to follow up on Hampus Lindholm, Beersy, we recently had a conversation with him, and he said we've had to work much harder for the record that we have this year. Last year, toward the end of the year, we kind of went through the motions a little bit instead of harping on the details, and it shows you how quickly the game can get away from you yeah, if you don't do the details. It's, I mean, when, when you're just winning games, it's, it's hard when the coaches have to point some things out to you because you're just like, yeah, all right, whatever. You know, I mean, we, we just keep winning. So uh, winning just came so easily to them last year. And not that they didn't put the work in, don't get me wrong, but, but I mean, it just, it, I mean, they steamrolled teams at times last year and it snowballed for them. And teams. Buck sent out in front of just wide and then Omar had to slide back to the far post just in case there was an available puck. And this puck is sent off the surface. Might be a penalty on the Bruins. Andrew Peak, I think, is he going to going to be the guy to go? Yep. So Picked it out of the air. He's just trying to bat this puck away, and the puck ends up in the netting and uh, didn't touch anything on its way out. So it's a tough call on Peak. I mean, but it it is the right call. But it's just it's it's not trying to throw the puck out of the. <laughs> playing area he just whacks his puck out of midair so it'll be a two-man advantage for four seconds and the Bruins under some duress here early in the second period they saw a far circle in the Bruins zone coil in for the draw a little early movement he and Barkov reset and coil wins it cleanly the Bruins flip it up the left side out the center right Zaka is out of the box so it's a five on four Tarasenko motors in, feeds to the near side. Reinhardt sent it back, and it's picked off by Zaka. He'll sweep it all the way down. Coyle heads off, Heinen heads on. Montour with a puck near side. He'll feed to Reinhardt up the right side. Left wing feed Barkov. Over the line they come. Sent out in front of the Bruins net. The Panthers couldn't get a stick on it. Up top, Montour, far circle. Tarasenko would drive, and Olmark to save the rebound. Paddled up the left side. Heinen couldn't get it out. Far point now, Tarasenko. Dishes high slot Montour. Far circle, Tarasenko. The Bruins get a piece of the cross-ice pass. Barca across the box. Left of the net. It's sent wide by Tarasenko. Held in, and then cleared after Montour had it intercepted by Lindholm. One minute to go on the minor penalty to peak. 18.43 left here in the second. We're tied at one. Reinhardt feeds to the center circle. Bennett enters. Up top it comes Montour. Rink wide Kachuk. Fired it out in front. Tipped down and wide by Reinhardt. You got a piece of it, yep. 
Along the near side, scooped up by Kachuk. Rolling puck sent out in front, and all marked the save, and the Bruins crank it all the way yeah, down. Kachuk just, he just drifted a couple pucks towards the net, looking for the tip from Reinhardt. He's got 27 goals far and away leading the league. Now over the line, the Panthers come. The Bruins yeah, deflect the pass off goals. the surface. But he, he, they love that little play, you know, down low, and then Reinhardt gets the shot away from the slot. That time, Kachuk rotating all the way up high near the blue line. He said, just drifting a couple pucks down there. We got the tip on one of them. We missed the other one. Panthers get a ton of goal production on the power play. Five on five. They're 25th in goals for it. Lundell kicked out of the faceoff. Bruins short for another 28 seconds. It's one of the reasons the Bruins have had success against the Panthers this season. Bruins win the draw, and it's saucered up the middle and down by McAvoy. Bobrovsky plays it ahead. Here's Ekman Larson behind his net. 20 seconds left in the peak penalty. Up the middle. Here come the Panthers. Over the line, left side with a little speed. It's cranked off the far post by Lundell. Marcian with it. Little space, and he'll flip it softly uh, back into the floor to end. Lundell tried to go short side that time. Got some space coming in the left wing. Here's Bennett over the line right side. Twist to the high slot. Walks to the far circle. Shoots. Blocked. The rebound. Gloved by Olmark. And the Bruins back to full strength. 17-37 left here in the second. One apiece. Well, Bennett had shot right away had he elected to take it. He just held on to that puck, moving right to left across the slot, looking for something to open up. And his shot ends up going off the skate of Trent Frederick, and Olmark tracks it and keeps it in the glove. They saw far circle in the Bruins end, so the Bruins special teams answers the test with Florida looking for a chance to move in front. Matthew Kachuk opened the scoring. Charlie McAvoy tied it in the first period. Peak tries the glass far side. Forsling kept it in, going down to a knee, got it with his glove. And now the Panthers will set it up right point. Kulikov shoots, Omar the save available. Scrubbed up the near side off the glass. That was close to going over. The Bruins won that face off and Peak tried to go up the short side there. And I don't know, you, know, you win those face-offs, especially inside your own zone. You want to make a play with it. You know, if that's the play, if that's what they want to do, then that winger's got to be more effective up on the boards that time. Here's Forsling leading the league in plus mine. They'll rip it to the right of the Bruins net. Watherspoon's got it. Fades back and then banked it up the left side to Van Riemsdyk. Backhands it over the line. DeBrusque with a step, walks in. Poke check by Forsling. Just tried to get that puck to the forehand before he let the shot go. Bolquist. Send it up top, Grizzly shoots, deflected out in front, oh. and Boquist has his stick held up. No oh. call. Oh. Boquist shoots, deflected, Bobrovsky, it's behind him. The Panthers trying to get command of it, push it into the crease. The Bruins batting away at it, and finally we got a whistle. Chaos in the floor to end. I mean, if Boquist doesn't have his stick held, he's got himself an empty net goal. He's coming right across the top of the crease. The puck's loose. He's right there. It's an open net. On the rebound chance, and he's got his stick held. And then the shot from the slot that time, and a loose puck, and Bruins battling for this puck. As Bobrovsky makes the save, it was tipped in front. He somehow keeps that puck out with a left skate as it went between his legs. I didn't catch you, Kai, who had Boquist's stick held in front of the net, though, prior to that play happening. But... Yeah, you're right on it, Chad. I mean, it's, it was so obvious there. Maybe from up here, but apparently not down there. 16:31 left here in the second one apiece. Eight five in the left circle of Florida end. Off the draw, tapped up top by Heinen. Slap rink wide for McAvoy. He'll zip it into the far corner. Heinen rotates it up top. Shoots, paddled in the far corner by Reinhardt. He'll jam it to the far side. Tarasenko running some interference, but the Panthers can't get it out. Kicked by Heinen into the far corner. Far side, Zaka snapped it up top. Rolled back in the net. Pasternak, who briefly lost his footing, sets up in the office. Tried to bank it to himself. Montour stayed with him. And now Tarasenko will feather it out to the neutral zone. Yeah, Cut Mont off by Lindholm. Montour wasn't falling for that. Up the right side is Heinen. He'll motor in to the right circle. Hits the brakes. Zaka. Send it to the slot. Pasternak couldn't uncork the shot. And then he goes back at Montour. Wow. 
Montour tripped him up in front of the net earlier in the shift. And now Van Riemsdyk getting in Montour's face. Behind the play. We continue. It snapped ahead. Out in front is Lauko. It looked like he won they the race ice. to the dots, and now Van Riemsdyk is barking away still with Montour. They call it icing. The long shift for Montour. I can understand why he's not dropping him there, but it looked like he tripped Pasternak up in front of the net earlier in the shift, and I think that's why Pasternak went back at him. <laughs> the cousin's getting away with things like he does a lot. 15.32 remaining here in the second. We're tied at one. We just showed it on the Jumbotron. Cousins taking McAvoy. Or they took each other down, kind of holding on to each other, and then a couple extra shots by Cousins. All right, now Kelly Sutherland having a word for James Van Riemsdyk. Face off far circle. One by Zaka. Peak squeezes the puck up the right side and out to center ice. In the neutral zone, Cousins leaped for it. Lauko with a hit on him as the puck is sent off the surface. And we've got to stop with 15-20 left in the second. And more jousting behind the play. Peak That's and Kachuk. Started with Kachuk and Lindholm. Now it's every shift. Now it's every whistle. Like somebody said the other day, Florida leads the league in, in hits. Or right up there in hits, but they're also, they lead the league in hits after the whistle too. And, and, and I'm, I'm not saying there's any penalties here. I'm just saying that, you know, they, they, like, they like this kind of game. They like to drag it into the mud a little bit. I think we're going to have offsetting minor penalties here. There, were, there really isn't much there, but they're just, they're going to start calling it now to make sure it doesn't boil over. You know, Kachuk and Peak didn't do anything that hasn't happened already in this game, but that they're just, okay, enough. We'll warn the bench. If it continues, we're going to start calling penalties. But where you really get it is if, if it continues, we're going to get, we're going to take one of you. And that's the aggressor. That's the next step. Yeah. Then it stops. And if it doesn't, you're putting your team at a disadvantage. So this is going to loosen up the ice here for the next two minutes. Both goals coming in the first period. And the faceoff will be... It's going to be out in the neutral zone. Is it going to be in front of the Panthers bench? Or along the near side, I think it's going to be in front of the Panthers bench. Coyle and Marchand will come out up front. Grizzlick and Carlo on the back end. And that faceoff comes outside the zone as well because the defenseman came in. So that's happened a couple of times to the Panthers. They don't mind that though. Especially this time of year. Owens win the draw. Carlo up the right side. Coyle, he'll feed it back for Carlo. Chipped up the right side. Bad handoff to Coyle, but the Bruins trying to get it back. Punch back of the net. Grizzlick will have to skate into a loose puck up the left side. Hits the brakes, feeds it back of his net. Bruins are having a hard time breaking out of their own zone. Misconnect here. Right point Tarasenko up top. Tarasenko fed it out in front. Oh, Bennett missed an open net. That puck just yeah. skidded by him at the near post. Forsling had the first chance and it went right to Bennett. They were looking back door for Forsling cutting in from the point. Florida changes so the Bruins can finally get out of their own zone. A couple bad handoffs though by the Bruins. Carlo over the line near side. Fought off the check. Knotted up with Reinhardt. Bruins get it back. High slot Lindholm. Feed to the right circle. Pasternak fakes back in the cage. Sent it out in front. Just wide. Right circle now Martian. Fired out in front by McAvoy. And Bobrovsky the save as McAvoy drives to the blue paint. Well, Lindholm missed. Pasternak initially off that first pass, just a little bit too far in front of him. Pasternak had just come off the bench. And then Pasternak chases that puck, he goes behind the net, and then he comes out on the on his forehand, and he makes this move on Barkov. What a move by Pasternak, going in between the net and the stick of Barkov, trying to slide it to the far side of Bobrovsky. A three goal, move. Three goals away from back-to-back 50-goal -back seasons, David Pasternak. Face off right circle on the floor to end. Bruins win the draw cleanly. Right point, it's McAvoy. Cranked into the right corner. Zaka trapped it. Cycles it and leaves it for Pasternak. Back up top for Zaka. Watched by Montour. Bump to the far side, Pasternak. Now right side, Geeky. Working against Lundell. Three and forwards it, and a D. 
And the Bruins have to regroup out in the neutral zone. Here's Kiki. Throws it across in front of the Florida bench for McAvoy. Kicked ahead. Here's Kiki. He'll wheel over the line left side. Shakes into the near circle. Up top. Geeky shoots, and Bobrovsky kicks out the right leg. Bruins making one change as the Panthers bring the puck up ice. Montour will sizzle it in around to the far side. Lindholm banked it ahead. A step for Pasternak against Ekman Larson. Right circle into the slot. Shoots. Bobrovsky the save. And he holds on. 13.26 left here in the second. Bruins won. Panthers won on the 98.5. The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh-oh, better get Mako. Hey, Brent, love the color. If you had to choose, would you watch paint dry or compare benefits plans? Mm, compare benefits plans, obviously. Hmm, but you know how complicated benefits are, right? Well, I run payroll with Gusto. Gusto makes it easy to find benefits like medical, dental, and vision for my whole team. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna need new glasses. Don't worry, you're covered. Choose benefits without the mess. Visit gusto.com slash streaming to learn more. The only place to hear the game, the Sports Hub. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network. Dan Heinen and Pavel Zaka with the assist on Charlie McAvoy's game-time goal in the first period. That's our delivery of the game, delivered by Granite City Electric's GCE Night Train, Granite City Electric Supply, celebrating 100 years of service to electrical contractors in New England. Visit GraniteCityElectric.com to order. Face off in the near circle, the Panthers end. We're still four aside for the next six seconds, one apiece. Ryan Otter take it against Zaka. Zaka wins it. Bruins bank it to the near side. Pasternak throws it out in front. Oh, he had Zaka there. He couldn't hold on to Zaka it. Zaka there and, and uh, McAvoy going back door. Bruins deflect the puck back into the Panthers' end. Peek is out of the box. And both teams are back to full strength. Oh. Over the line left side. The Panthers walk in and shoot. Barkov denied by Olmark as one of the Bruins was tripped up at the blue yeah. line. Yeah, Kachuk tripped McAvoy up. Far side now, Barkov. Far corner now. Sent up top by Reinhardt. Snap down low by Mikola. Back of the net now, Kachuk. Try to guide it out in front. The Bruins chop it free. It's backhanded on net. Olmark a stick save. Pushed him on tour. And this one sent off the surface. Been accidentally on purpose. Trip up right at the blue line that time. And McAvoy's going backwards. And Montour's getting into it with somebody else as they come on the ice. That's Watherspoon. Yeah, a lot of this stuff going on right now. 12.43 left here in the second, one apiece. It's been game, nasty today. The... It hasn't reached the level no. that we saw about 10 days ago. Too bad the game isn't on Ness and we'd see some better replays. <laughs> Face off near circle. It's true. They're gonna redo this face-off as Rodriguez will step in. Lundell kicked out of there. Beecher will take it. He turned 23 two nights ago. 
Bruins win the draw. See? Zip it off the glass out to center ice. Yeah, they're just they're just trying to go up that short side when they win the faceoff like that inside their own zone. And they're blowing the zone with the you know two guys going up that way. Her overloading. Coughed it up. Puck flipped into the near corner. Frederick. Oh, he went crashing in, and Mahur avoided the hit near side. Held in by DeBrusque. He'll zip it off the end boards over to the far side. This won't get out. Far wall. Mahur gave it away. Frederick keeps it in. He'll lift it into the right corner. DeBrusque brace for the contact with Kulikov. And now Rodriguez throws a backhand high out to center ice. Gloved by Peak. He'll skate it up the left side. Backhands it in. Mahura near corner. Drives the near wall. It skids by Boquist out to center ice. Grizzlick with it. Goes to his partner Carlo. Now Van Riemsdyk chipped it into the right corner. We've played just over eight minutes in the second period. One apiece. Back of his net, Kulikov. The veteran left-handed defenseman in his second tour of duty with the Panthers. Puck speared deep into the Bruins zone. Olmark with it. Plays it calmly up the left side and out to center ice. Back at his own line, Mikula banked it ahead, picked off by Van Riemsdyk. Bump to Lauko, near circle, grabbed by Montour. He'll drive it up the middle, Stenlin. Left wing now, Mikula over the line, left side. Shoots, and Olmark will take it in. And How much have... uh, Floro missed Gudis in the playoffs, you know? He, not the fastest guy, but man, he played physical, played hard for them, blocked shots, got in your way. We joked, you know, last year he could be called for a penalty just about every time he touches the ice, but he, he won't get called for penalty. He, he just, he played hard, perfect playoff performer for them as conversations continue between Montour and several of the Bruins. But you know, Montour plays that way as well. You know, he plays that hard nose style, but also can put up the points. That Gudis was just stay at home, right defenseman, and hard, you know, hard to play against. That's the reason that Pat Verbeek wanted to sign him as an unrestricted free agent, bring him to Anaheim with his young team. You know, you could, he could be beaten, but, but he just, you know, he had that little presence out there, though. He had to know when he was on the ice. And a really well-liked, well-respected yes. guy in the room. Bruins use the middle and out they come. Three on two. Coyle over the line. High slot. Drops and drives. Marchand across. Kiki shoots Bobrovsky to save. Great setup right from the first pass out of the zone. Now out in front. It's fired. Bobrovsky the stop on Marchand who got free in the right circle. Yeah. Bobrovsky's kept them in this period. I mean, he's had a couple of plays where he had that one puck slip between his legs on the tip, but he just made two really good saves. Great pass coming out of the zone by the Bruins. Peak. Finds Coyle in the middle. It's one pass. They're out of the zone. He takes the hit to make that proper play. Now it's a three-on-two going up the other way. Coyle moves it to the left, drives through, opens up the passing lane from Marchand on the left over to Geeky on the right. Geeky receives the pass. Good shot. Stopped by Bobrovsky and then followed up by another opportunity. They saw right circle in the Panthers' end. Frederick kicked out of there. Bolquist will step in. They've essentially got two centermen on this line. And the Panthers win this. Carried ahead by Mikola. Threads a backhand that's gloved by McAvoy. He'll flip it over the line to Boquist. Near circle. Pulls up. High slot. Now Lindholm fanned on his shot. And got a shoulder from Montour, his former Ducks teammate. Puck chipped into the right corner. Bruins then. Losterinen can't get to the puck. Boquist stays with it at the end boards. Losterinen pries it free. Up top. Now Ekman Larson juggled, grabbed it, fired wide. McAvoy up the far side. He'll now turn, and Florida's making some changes, so McAvoy will skate it himself out to the neutral zone. Flipped it in. Bruins changing themselves. We're halfway through the second, one apiece. The Bruins come in with a four-point lead over the Panthers in the Atlantic Division. Last meeting between these two of the regular season. Big check delivered by Watherspoon yeah. on Barkov. Barkov was trying to protect the puck, and Watherspoon finished him hard. And Barkov takes exception to it. And now again, the tempers flare. Barkov trying to get it. Watherspoon, who plays an edgy game. Now the referees are trying to point out who's going to go. Is it going to just be one? Oh, it can't be. Watherspoon skating to the box. We'll sort it out when we return. 9.49 left here in the second. Bruins won. Panthers won. 
On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins radio network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. How easy does Apartments.com's 3D virtual tours make finding a new home? Well, I bet you could even do it while uh, soaking in a clawfoot tub, wrestling a giant Pacific octopus. And that's not rhetorical, is it, Craig? No, sir. <laughs> Look at that balcony. I... Ow! And there's an Indian washer dryer? I mean, this townhouse is just stunning. Why are you so strong? You see, our 3D virtual tours make it easy peasy, octopus squeezy. I yield. Apartments.com, the place to find a place. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. The Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the Road Trip Ready Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid from Honda. So bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the far destinations. Bring on the memories. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord Hybrid or CRV Hybrid. See dealer for financing details. Felger and Naz, afternoons 2 to 6 on the Sports Hub. Service credit in and his team with Bruins defenseman Charlie McAvoy for defending New England's heroes. Service donates $100 for every block shot and $1,000 for every shutout to pay for heart and cancer screenings for New England police and firefighters. Learn more now at servicecu.org slash 73. Yeah, only one penalty on the play. Watherspoon finished Barkov with a good hit, but then he kind of a little bit extra, and I think he ripped the helmet off of Barkov's head, and I think that's why he's going to get the roughing penalty. He's allowed to do that. They call you for a penalty. There's a big scrum that happened afterwards, but I don't believe that was the penalty. And just a long conversation with the referee and McAvoy and Kachuk out at center ice during that commercial timeout. Bruins had the first three power play chances. Florida's had the next three. Yeah, you rip the helmet off of somebody's head, though. They're going to call it. I slap Monta. And, and it's a penalty. So Puck sent. Back of the Bruins net, brushed over to the far side. Up top now Montour, right circle to Barkov. Sent it out in front, looking for a tip, and this will carry him out to the neutral yeah, zone. Yeah, looking back door that time. Minute and a half remaining on this Panthers power play. One apiece, both goals in the first. Here's Reinhardt, back in his own end. He'll accelerate ahead to the red line, feeds it in. Allmark stays in net. Far side now Tarasenko. Backhands it up top, almost fumbled by Montour. He barely kept it in in the high slot. Reinhardt was poke checked, and the Bruins sizzle it out to the neutral zone. Here's Reinhardt, up right wing in the neutral zone. Montour hammers it in. Far side, Tarasenko plays it back of the net. Slapped up to the right point, Montour throws it out in front, looking for a tip, and it sails to the far side. Carlo traps the puck in the corner. Bruins short for another 45 seconds. Back of the net, Kachuk centered it out in front. This is going to split everybody and go out to the neutral zone. Bruins could use a line change or get one forward off. Kachuk out in the neutral zone to Reinhardt. He'll bounce it over to the far side. Corralled by Lundell. Flipped to the far corner. Bennett back of the cage. Chipped it over to the near side. Kachuk to the right dot. Leaves it for Bennett at the right point. 20 seconds left on this. Florida power play. Bennett right circle. Shoots. Omark a good stop. The rebound. Omark paddles the side on a second chance opportunity by Reinhardt. Reinhardt picked that out of the air. Now Marchand over the line right side against Montour. Cut to the middle and Montour able to chip it over to the near side. And then Bennett finished hard by Marchand and Montour went down. Bruins back to full strength. So each team 0 for 3 on the power play as the puck is ripped over to the near side and the Bruins end. Squirted ahead, but not out. Forslund, left circle. Bennett shoots, blocked out in front. Rebound, blocked out in front by the Bruins on the chance by Lundell. Up top, Forslund. Far side, it's fired. It never got to Omar. Back of the net is Peak. Locked up with Lundell. Those yeah, two jousting for it. Kind of holding each other's stick there, weren't they? Near side, Watherspoon with a solid check on Rodriguez. And here's McAvoy up right wing. Gotcha going after Watherspoon. Center circle now over the line. Left side is Peak. Drops for DeBrusque. To Peak left of the net. Shoots. Bobrovsky the save. Bidding for his first as a Bruin. And now the Bruins have to hustle off the bench. On a change. It's flipped deeper to the Bruins zone. Here's Lomberg. 
far corner. Swept it back of the net. Gadjevic had it poke checked. Bruins pounded over to the far side. Back of the net and over to the near wall it comes. Near point Kulikov. He'll sling it into the right corner. Stenlin. Puck on edge. Far side. Rolled it up top. Back of the net it goes. Gadjevic had his stick lifted by Grizzlick. Heinen behind the net floor to start to make some changes and the Bruins reverse it and they've got a little time and room. Out comes Grizzlick. Feeds up the right side. Carlo jammed it ahead and this puck deflects onto the Bruins bench with 6.23 left here in the second. Bruins won. Panthers won. It's hockey season. It's peerless boiler season. Replace your old boiler and water heater with a new peerless boiler and pavilion tankless water heater. Find your local dealer at peerlessboilers.com and remember peerless boilers the world's best built boilers. Well, another good penalty kill by the Bruins. Perfect today, perfect in a series against the Florida Panthers. Some of it's goaltending, but I, I, they jumped at the right time. And took away some lanes. Yeah, it's been impressive for them. It's been one of the strengths, one of the reasons that they're up in this year on the you know the season series against Florida. 11 for 11 against the Panthers. He's up in front of the Bruins bench. Bruins control off the draw. Here's Watherspoon. He'll crank it into the left corner. Mahura under pressure in the far corner. Bumped by Frederick. Puck squirts to Cousins. Cousins bothered by Frederick. Got it to Bennett. And out come the Panthers. Three on three. Here's Bennett. Flipped it over the line. Now Kachuk into the far circle. Shoots. Had to deflect it just wide. And the Bruins jab it up the middle and out to the neutral zone. Here's Kachuk. He opened the scoring, taking a fortunate bounce off the stanchion and drilled it by Allmark. Allmark paddled it into the far corner. Peak digging away. Watherspoon. And this is going to be a penalty on Kachuk. There's no question he went at Watherspoon and drilled him against the end boards. Watherspoon wants a piece of Kachuk. I, I don't think he's going to get an opportunity to get back at him, but there's no question that Kachuk is going to grab a seat. Well, the arm was up. 542 left here in the second, one apiece. Matthew Kachuk heading into today's action. With 82 penalty minutes, that does not lead the team. Let's get the call. I think it was interference. We'll take a timeout. One apiece, 542 left in the second. On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial connection. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. 1H 2023. Results may vary. Not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. The home of the bees, the sports hub. 
Enter the raffle for a chance to win a custom Bruin, Boston Bruins branded snowmobile and two tickets to a Bruins home game. All proceeds from the raffle will benefit the Bruins Foundation. Visit BruinsRaffles.com to purchase your tickets now. Yeah, Eight. Matt, you can check in the box. They're going to call him for interference. The puck was near Father Spoon, but it looked worse in real time than it actually was. But McAvoy to Pasternak. He fired. He blistered it just wide, and this puck goes over the glass. And Kachuk pleading his case while he's in the box during that commercial timeout, but I just think the referee's radar is up right now. And that was on Watherspoon, who had, of course, roughed up Barkoff the previous couple minutes ago. Bruins win another draw. It's flipped off a, a stick and just beyond Zaka, so the Bruins will have to regroup in the neutral zone. Here's Pasternak, he'll speed in. Leads the Bruins with 12 in the power play to Martian. Near hash, chased up top. Flings it over to the near side. Pasternak protects. High slot now, McAvoy shoots. Bobrovsky to save the rebound to Stenlin. And he'll skate it ahead up right wing. Two on two. Batted out of midair by Zaka. And the Bruins with a quick up. Martian with it, leaves it for the late coming Pasternak with Florida making some changes. One apiece, just under five minutes remaining here in the second. Bruins rim the puck over to the near side. Marchand tapped it toward the middle. Zaka wired it down low. Far hash. It's Van Riemsdyk. Pasternak creates a little space. The centering feed. Marchand. Zaka goes all the way down. Marchand had Zaka there. Here's McAvoy. Twists back into his own zone. He has the Bruins' only goal today. Up the middle now, Coyle leaves it for the late coming Pasternak. Brings it in, slap to the near point, Martian attacks left circle. Rink wide, deflected, they score! Charlie Coyle in the slot, a power play goal, ruins two, Panthers one. Well, Coyle had just hopped on the ice a few seconds prior, helped make the play in the neutral zone, and then when Marchand gets this puck on the left wing side after the Bruins gain entry, he's looking cross ice, but it's the high tip by Coyle this time. So Postnock brings it in over on the left for Marchand, and then Coyle releases and starts going to the net. He gets this redirect right between the bottom hash marks there. Just a perfect, and the pass comes from the left wing, so... Coils that right shot, pucks up on edge a little bit. Just a perfect redirect past the left pad of Bobrovsky. That's his 25th. Every goal setting a new career high, and the Bruins in front for the first time today. And the Bruins make Matthew Kachuk pay for his indiscretion. Panthers carried ahead. Frederick with a shoulder on Losterine, and the puck to the far corner. Carlo sees that Rodriguez coming for him. Up the left side now, DeBrusque. He'll paddle it through the middle. Frederick over the line left side. Got Boquist driving. Sent off a skate back in the net. Boquist toppled. Her got, her got a piece of it with the skate. Now Frederick pulls it free. Protects along the wall. Tried to cycle it down low. It's picked off. Just sent off the high glass and back into the neutral zone by the Panthers. Bruins get it back. Frederick rink wide. Boquist plays a rolling puck to the far circle. And the Panthers will burst the other way. Los Torino knuckled it in. Left of the net. Allmark jams it over to the near side. That save he made on Sam Reinhardt on the Panthers' power play, looming even larger. 3.15 left here in the second, 2-1 Bruins. Bennett deflects the puck into the far corner Bruins zone. Peak drilled it into the near corner off of Cousins' stick. And the Panthers bring in the puck offside. Watherspoon right. and Cousins exchange yeah. a couple of shots. Cousins gave him a little whack, got his attention. Fans of Video Bank and Patrice Bergeron have teamed up again this season for Assist for Kids. For every Boston Assist, they'll donate $50 up to $37,000 to help Metro West Youth hockey players pay for hockey. Get details at avidiabank.com forward slash Team Bergeron. Video Bank, honest to goodness, member FDIC, member DIF. 3.04 left here in the second. 2-1 Bruins. So the Bruins one for four on the power play today. And two for 12 in the season series, four to 0 for 11. Face out of the near dot, just beyond the Bruins line. Bennett in for the draw. 
He'll take it against Beecher. Beecher wins it. Watherspoon takes a look. He'll go to his partner, Peak. Up the far side, deflected toward the middle by Lauko. The Bruins jam it in, tag up, and the Panthers will come ahead. Here's Kulikov, left wing now, speeding to the center circle is Bennett, going wide to the near side. Chipped it behind the Bruins. That Watherspoon leaves it. It's rimmed over to the far side. The Bruins use the middle and deflected out to center ice. Two on one, Beecher over the line with Lauko right circle. Shoots, Bobrovsky fought it off. Now, Lauko saw the hit coming from Mikola, and Mikola took a forearm shiver. Out in the neutral zone, here's Beecher. Relays ahead to Pasternak, hits the brakes, moves to the middle. Dished it down low. You had Cousins going toward Pasternak. Near side now, Heinen. Chipped to Grizzly. It's pounded down low. Lomberg, far side. Chased back of the net. It's hacked over to the near wall. Pasternak's got it, near side. Tried to shoot it out in front, and the Panthers get to it. They'll bank it up the left side, deep into the Bruins zone. Lomberg racing for it. The former Black Bear fires on net. All mark the save. And the Bruins send it over the line. Pasternak with a step. Shoots Bobrovsky way out of the net to challenge and make the save. Here's Pasternak back in the cage. Heinen knocked off stride. Recovers. Zaka up top. Watherspoon shoots right of the net. Deflected wide by Pasternak. Oh. Banked out in front. And Bobrovsky makes that stop. It just happened to hit him. And he covers up a, a flurry of activity. Great look from Watherspoon back door. Pasternak shaking his head right now. He knows he had one there. If he's able to handle it cleanly. Watherspoon through the seam back door. He also had the breakaway, did Pasternak. Partial breakaway and got the shot away with Ekman Larson on the back check. 134 left here in the second. Bruins two and the Panthers one. Face off left circle. In the Florida end, Coyle's 25th from Brad Marsh and David Pasternak at 15.45 on the power play. The difference. Coyle wins the draw. Left point, Watherspoon fakes, shoots, hit a skate, left of the cage. Marsh and back of the net. Rotates, sent it up top. Watherspoon left point, looking for a seam. Feeds it near side for Coyle. Shakes to the left circle. Left of the net, back of the cage. Protects, Forsling can't get it from him. Centered, picked off by the Panthers. Banked ahead. Reinhardt just got it out. And Barkov will fling one in behind the Bruins net. It almost topped out in front. Omar paddled it to the near corner. Now Carlo chipped it over to the far side. Geeky stayed with his check. Coyle comes to help out. And the puck slides out to center ice. 57 seconds left in the second. Bruins two, Panthers one. Watherspoon settles it, pulls it off the wall, sets up behind his net. He'll bank it up the left side for Boquist. He'll skate it out to center ice over the red line, over the blue line high slot. For Frederick, returns, Boquist near side, pulled up. He'll rim it behind the net. DeBrusque scraped it up to the right point. McAvoy paddled it to DeBrusque, tried to chip it to the middle, and the Panthers ice this, and the faceoff will come down to our left. That's another icing call sponsored by Tito's Handmade Vodka. Enjoy the game of a glass of Tito's on ice. Tito's Cocktail of the Week is the Tito's Transfusion. For today's recipe, go to 985thesportshub.com. Face-off in the near circle in the Panthers' end. Not seen Hampus Lindholm for several shifts now. Everyone's one short on the bench. Frederick in for the draw. We got Grizzlick and McAvoy out there right now for this offensive zone draw. They're going to redo it. Frederick against Lundell. And the Panthers have it. Up the right side, Montour. His pass hit a skate. Pasternak trying to track it down. Applies the hit to Losterinen. High slot, DeBrusca drive blocked. Now Lundell golfed it out to center ice. McAvoy saw the hit coming. We'll flip it in. And the Panthers will set it up back in their own zone. Here's Mikola up left wing. Drills it all the way down to the near side. Grizzly tapped it, and it's grabbed by Losterinen. And that's going to do it for the middle frame as Rodriguez and McAvoy jawn at one another in the high slot. The linesman trying to separate some of the combatants. Frederick comes over to have a word with Mikola. 
Well, Mikola John away with McAvoy. Mikola and Marcian dropped the gloves in the last meeting. And now Frederick having a conversation with Gadjevic. We've still got a lot of hockey left. The Bruins with the only goal in the second period at the end of two. It's the Bruins two and the Panthers one. Beers and I will bring you back for the second intermission in a moment on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh-oh, better get Mako. BridgeBank helps breakthrough ideas actually break through and remains dedicated to providing financial solutions to those committed to leveraging innovation to make the world a better place. BridgeBank a division of Western Alliance Bank. Bridge Bank. Be bold. Venture wisely. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after-hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position, with great pay and excellent benefits, like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time, there's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. When you find a deal on your favorite thing in the McDonald's app and order it, does that technically count as online shopping? Save money with the app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. At participating building, due diligence support. Learn more at TimberlineConstruction.com. Timberline Construction Exceptional. No exceptions. So we've hit the second intermission here at TD Garden. The Bruins 2 and the Panthers 1. And it was that power play chance after the Bruins went 0 for 3 in the first that registered in the second to give them the lead. Yeah, they actually made a, a, a little bit of a change there. Coyle didn't start the power play. Uh, they actually had Van Riemsdyk out there uh, on that top unit. It, it was, so it was during a line change. Marshan stayed out. Pasternak stayed out. Uh, a couple of the other guys, uh, a couple of the other uh, on that power play unit had made the change. Uh, and it ends up being Marshan to uh, to Coyle, who's going to the net, and just got the redirect right in the hash mark, right in between the hash marks there. Nice pa uh, passing play. It was after Posnock had brought the puck up the ice, got it into the zone, moved it off to the left-hand side, and now you're set up offensively. And Marshan had time and space to find the stick of Coyle, presents it nicely. And it's just a, a nice little redirect. It's not, he doesn't tip it up over to Bobrovsky, but just past the left pad. Um, so a good finish, and it's got to feel good for the power play to get on the board as well. I know Frederick had a power play goal the last time the Bruins were down in Florida, but um, this one, uh, that had to feel good. Gives them a lead, and it did the same thing. It, I think it tied the game when we were down in Florida, tied it for the third time in that one. Uh, a little bit of news, Hampus Lindholm left it uh, around the eight-and-a-half-minute mark of that period uh, and did not return. We'll keep an eye on his uh, if he comes back here for the beginning of the third period, but a big loss back on defense if he's not able to uh, to finish this game, and, and who knows, maybe even beyond. So um, it's been a good game. It's been it got it's been a little nasty. A lot of the nastiness been after the whistles, you know, you know, during the in between the whistles. There's been a little bit, but it's more. I think you know, uh, there's been a lot of talking. There's been a lot of pushing and shoving. It hasn't you know, there's been no gloves dropped or anything like that. But 
you know, you can see the dislike that the two teams have for one another. Florida doesn't mind playing that way. I don't think the Bruins mind playing that way. Florida's got more of a reputation maybe than the Bruins do uh, for that type of game. But, you know, I, I think it, I, I, you know, I think for good teams, it brings out, you know, it, the best in you you know it brings out the intensity levels up you know you play an afternoon game national tv against a team you don't like and, and that's that's the same for both teams right and so it's for first place i mean it's not technically for first because the bruins have a four-point lead coming into today uh, so it's i mean just the you know the the, the tempers are up the, the intensity levels up uh, you like it you want you want to see these types of games penalty killers set the stage for this lead they have not allowed a power play goal against the Florida Panthers yet this season. I mean, they've been outstanding, the penalty killing has against Florida. And Florida comes in, they've got a very dangerous power play. I mean, you know, Reinhardt leads the league in power play goals. You don't want to take too many penalties against them. Bruins have only taken 11 this season against them, and that's in four games. We've still got a period to go here, but that's pretty good. You, you don't want to put that power play out there. And I know Florida's hit a bit of a, a rut here recently with the man advantage where they haven't uh, been as hot as maybe they were at different times of the season. You know, Maybe you're missing Ekblad a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit of, of everything. It kind of catches up with you. We talked to Ed Jovanovsky this morning. Um, who works uh, in Panthers broadcast, and he was just saying that, you know, you know that play half wall down to Kachuk, quick pass out to Reinhardt. Well, you know, teams know it's coming, and it's, sometimes they can still get it done, but, you know, teams are, are closing on him now. Now you got to find other options, and it's something that they're kind of evolving with and, and getting to. But the Bruins have done a great job against that man advantage all season long. Hallmark had to make a couple of key saves in that second period, but Sergei Bobrovsky was the guy who faced a lot more pucks. Yeah, especially early. I mean, the, the power play for Florida generated a couple opportunities, but, you know, you look at early on in that period, I mean, the Bruins had ample opportunity to add to their lead. Bobrovsky had one slip through him in, in between his legs on a tip. He wasn't sure where that puck was. He somehow kept it out with the left skate and then kind of tried to fall back on it. It was a big scramble out in front of the net. Boquist had an opportunity. Uh, but the Bruins, yeah, they generated some good looks. Pasternak with a nice chance coming out from behind the net. Then he had a little partial breakaway there. So, yeah, I, I mean, I like the way the Bruins have played here in this game. Got a good hard-fought game right now. One goal going into the third. The Bruins have been very good here recently at uh, making sure that they close games out the right way. You get a slim one-goal lead to see how they do here in the third. Scoring summary. In the first, Matthew Kachuk got it started with his 25th, 37 seconds in. Charlie McAvoy even the game at 542. In the second, Charlie Coyle is 25th from Brad Marchand and David Pasternak via the power play at 1545 to give the Bruins a 2-1 lead at the end of two. Shots on goal in favor of the Bruins, 21-16 on the power play. The Bruins 1-4 for four and the Panthers 0-3. for three. Music of the game is brought to you by Live Nation. They want to get my home, home the Don't miss the Black Keys International Players Tour live in Boston on Friday, November 1st at TD Garden. Get tickets now at LiveNation.com. Beersy's going to update the out-of-town NHL board when we return on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time, there's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Who's in for Mohican? Obviously, everyone. It's an invitation that you can't ignore to experience a place that just feels different. Mohegan Sun, a place that welcomes you in, all in. For the flavors, the fun, the unbelievably unforgettable. Because you plus me plus Mohegan equals the best time ever. And what comes next is, well, everything. This is how it feels when you're all in for Mohegan. Mohegan Sun. Visit MoheganSun.com today to start your experience. BackstageCountry.com, your online home for all things country music. 
Like most of us, Keith Urban also has a bucket list. You may be surprised to learn what is and is not on his. Text Keith to 45911 to read and learn more about the central theme of Keith's bucket list. Get a link to the story sent right to your phone when you text Keith to 45911. Go inside country music at backstagecountry.com. The Celtics play here at the Sports Hub. Come back to the TD Garden, second intermission. Bruins leading the Florida Panthers by the score of 2-1. to one. We take a look around the NHL. One final to report from earlier today. The Penguins fight off the comeback of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Pittsburgh prevailing, coming out on top 5-4 over Tampa. Game in the third period. Chicago has a 3-1 lead over the Dallas Stars. At the end of two periods, Winnipeg leads the Minnesota Wild by the score of 3-2. to two. All other games get started later on. It'll be St. Louis visiting San Jose. Columbus plays host to the Philadelphia Flyers. Toronto's at Montreal. New Jersey takes on Ottawa. Nashville and the New York Islanders. Calgary plays host to the Edmonton Oilers Battle of Alberta. And finishing it up tonight will be Vancouver taking on the L.A. Kings. Here in Boston at the TD Garden, Bruins 2, Florida 1. We'll have all the third period action next on the 98.5 The Sports of Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealer. It's only human to be passionate, loyal, and all in when it comes to the Bruins. And it's only human to expect the same from your bank. And just like every season, TD will be there for all the wins, losses, and memorable moments. Best of luck this season. TD Bank, the bank of the Boston Bruins. Member FDSC, TD Bank, NA. Shopify helps you sell at every stage of your business. Like that, let's put it online and see what happens stage. And the site is live. That we opened a store and need a fast checkout stage. Thanks, you're all set. That count it up and ship it around the globe stage. This one's going to Thailand. And that, wait, did we just hit a million orders stage? Whatever your stage, businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for your $1 a month trial at shopify.com slash listen. Hi, this is Mark Bertrand for VA New England. I have a proud family history of military service. My father served in the U.S. Army. His father served in the Navy during World War II. And my other grandfather served in the Marines. I have many friends and other relatives who have all... Sighting turn. Luckily, we were in my Nissan Rogue. With its powerful DC turbo engine, well, we had more than enough time to see all the animals. Whoa! <laughs> and I'll run a few! Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get 2.9% APR financing for 72 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop at your local Nissan store or at NissanUSA.com. For well-qualified buyers, 2.9% APR financing for 72 months on new 2023 Rogue in dealer stock. Example, 72 months financing at $15.15 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and NMAC credit approval, not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4-30-24. From their first steps to their first recital, it all starts with hearing. Because hearing helps your child's brain develop so they can dance to their full potential. If your baby fails the newborn hearing screening, learn what to do at StartsHere.org. The Stanley Cup Playoffs Bracket Challenge presented by Betway is back. And now it's time to take your shot. Face off against family and friends. And take aim at predicting this year's playoffs. Whether you're pulling for the Panthers, going big on the blue shirts, or seeing stars all the way. Who do you think hoists the cup this year? Sign up today for a chance to win exclusive prizes at NHL.com slash bracket. Duncan is dropping a new kind of energy. Introducing Sparked Energy by Duncan. It's energy for the fun of it. Available in two full-on delicious flavors. Berry Burst and Peach Sunshine. It's what you need when your afternoon needs you to get going. A revitalizing burst of caffeine, vitamins, and minerals gives you the energy to turn the fun up to 11. True story. Drop by or order ahead on the Duncan app today. Fruit flavored. Contains 0% fruit juice. Caffeine from Caffeine and Garana. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Hey, it's Felger here for Catches Law. New England's injury attorneys since 1986 and now the official law firm of the New England Patriots. With over $2 billion won and over 50 local attorneys that live in the same communities as we do, Catches Law are the experts to turn to when you're injured and you can't work. Catches Law handles more workers' compensation cases than any other law firm in Massachusetts, winning the largest verdicts in the Commonwealth in 2020 and 2021. So, let them get to work on your case. There's no fee unless you win. Go to CatchesLaw.com to schedule your free consultation today. Listen live.
right. Check out our podcast with the 98.5 The Sports Hub app. Now it's time to look back at 100 years of Boston Bruins hockey, presented by Granite City Electric. Bumped against the wall by Farabee, and the horn is going to sound. How about the performance by Jeremy Swayman tonight? His first NHL win. He stopped 40 of 42. Brad Marsh in the third period shorthanded game winner. And Patrice Bergeron ices it with the hat trick as the Bruins come up victorious 4-2 in Philadelphia. That was back on this date in 2021. Jeremy Swayman making his NHL debut, making those 40 saves. Patrice Bergeron a hat trick. Brad Marchand four points. And the Bruins winning it 4-2 to two over the Philadelphia Flyers. That look back at 100 years of Bruins hockey was presented by Granite City Electric Supply. Celebrating 100 years of service to electrical contractors and our communities throughout New England, go to GraniteCityElectric.com. By the way, Hampus Lindholm back on the ice for the Bruins as we're about ready to start the third period here at TD Garden. The Bruins on top, 2-1, moving left to right. Florida Panthers, best goal differential in the third period this season by any team, plus 33 in the third period. That said, they only have fashioned four wins when they have trailed at the end of 40 minutes. They are 4-19-0. and Zaka, Pasternak, and Heinen begin up front. Lindholm back in his spot next to Charlie McAvoy as we're about ready to begin. The Bruins, by the way, today have only given up nine even strength shots to the Florida Panthers. And take away the bad bounce. How yeah. many real opportunities have the Florida Panthers had? Yeah, Lundell had one in that first period. They didn't give up, I think at five on five. They didn't give up much there in the second. And the Panthers come in second in the league in shots per game. At 33, they've got 16 thus far. We get things underway. The pass to the middle, deflected out in front, paddled to the near side by Allmark, and the Bruins get it out to center ice. They've been able to handle that forecheck. Most times. And a couple shifts here and there, especially in that first period, I think where they had a little trouble there. Some forced, some unforced. Here's Forsling along the near side, flutters it high in the air, deep into the Bruins zone, icing on the Panthers. Yeah, Barkov saying, you know, McAvoy just stood in front of me. He didn't go back for that puck. <laughs> <laughs> the line's been him having a conversation as they come back into the zone. Barkov in his 11th season with the Panthers. He won the Selkie Trophy in 21. And the Lady Bing in 2019. Face off in the near circle, the Panthers and the Bruins have a peak. Shoots, Bobrovsky to save. To fight it off, huh? Maybe a rising he, shot. Maybe he saw it late. But an awkward stop as he was crouched down at the near post. Forsling brings it ahead. You had Marcian making a beeline across the ice. The Panthers have it. Barkov wings it in off the skate to the near corner. He's got it at the near hash. Rims it. Far side now. Kachuk tapped it up top. Montour shoots. And Olmark, his former Sabres teammate with a save. Oh, you had Marchand breaking, but the Bruins thought about it. They thought about trying to get that puck up to him. And now Marchand's got it center circle over the red line. He'll loft it into the far corners. The Bruins complete some changes. Mikola, up right wing. Stutter step, and then gave it away in the neutral zone to Boquist. He'll swing it back into his own zone. Carlo, up the middle, Boquist. Got bumped by Kachuk, and the puck to Bennett. But Grizzly stepped up. The Bruins can't get it out. Second attempt, Grizzly. Off a skate and out to center ice. Montour. I'm trying to use the middle of the ice. Got to move those legs, though. Here's Grizzly. Indirect off the wall. Played to DeBrusque. Took a shoulder from Mahura. Now it's spun back of the Panthers' net. Up the far side by Montour and out to center ice. The Bruins cut it off at the red line. Boquist. Tried to get in on the left side. Couldn't. And it's drilled in by Lindholm. It rims over to the near side. Frederick knotted up with Mahura. Lundell back of his net will try the near side. Mahura, or pardon me, Frederick with a steal as it's set to the far corner. Beecher took a shoulder from Gadjevich. 
The puck in the far corner squirts to the circle, now to the slot, and the Panthers have it as the Bruins are completing some changes. Up the near side, Mahura spun around on a Beecher check, and it's dumped deep into the Bruins' zone. Popped up the near side, the Bruins drill it off the near wall, out to center ice. 17 and a half left here in the third. Bruins two, Panthers one. McAvoy up the left side, his team doing some changing, hoists it in. And this puck, I think, goes off the surface. So we'll have a face-off in the neutral zone. Fans catch as well. The official law firm of the Boston Bruins has won over $2 billion for their clients. When you're injured and can't work, turn to Catch's Law. There's no fee unless you win. Go to catcheslaw.com to schedule your free consultation today. Face off in front of the Bruins bench. The Panthers have only one game remaining against the playoff team. It's the last game they play at home against the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is their last road game of the season. Yeah, all home games to finish it off. We're going to finish with Toronto. Toronto's last two games of the year against the Panthers and the Lightning, both down in Florida. Here's Zaka far side. Left of the net to Heinen, back of the cage, trying to bank it out in front. Bobrovsky got a piece of it. Paddled over to the near side, flipped ahead by the Panthers. Reinhardt drilled by Watherspoon. The Bruins fire the puck deep into the Panthers' end. Ekman Larson plays it back into the far side. Tarasenko got it out. He was acquired at the trade deadline from Ottawa. Puck sent deep, set up by Bobrovsky. 16.43 left here in the third. Bruins on top, 2-1. Puck drilled in deep into the Bruins' end. Allmark went back to play it. Far side it comes. Marchand trying to spin away from Kachuk, who centers, and Bennett with a drive, sent it over the crossbar. Grizzlick paddled it ahead, held in by Montour, spins over to the near wall, Mikola, near corner. Back of the net, Kachuk. Banked it up top. Montour tees it up. Cranked to the far side. Could chuck into the slot. Shoots. And a blocker save made by Omar. Banked off the side of the net by Montour. Florida moving around. Buzzing a little bit. It's sent toward the front of the Bruins net. Could chuck. Right circle. Shoots. Blocked out in front. Omar dives for a puck. And he's got it. As Carlo takes exception to Cousins. Bennett had an opportunity to loose puck along the near side. Cousins locked up with a couple of Bruins who are jawing at him right now. Yeah, Cousins took a shot at Carlo when he was down after the whistle there. But this all starts when the Bruins had two opportunities to clear the puck and couldn't do it. And it's a great chance for Bennett off the pass from Kachuk. Left wing circle, gets the initial shot away. Allmark fights that one off. And then the puck on the shot coming in from almost the middle of the ice that time. Allmark makes a couple real good saves. Bennett with that, trying to chip it home. Carlo takes him down, and then Cousins came over and kind of gave Carlo a whack when he was down on the ice. 15.57 left here in the third. Bruins on top. Two, two, two chances to clear, though. There's one chance, and, and Martian just couldn't quite get to it. And then the other one, it was an attempted pass for Martian. It was well out of his reach. Face off in the near circle in the Bruins zone. Rundell will take it against Geeky. And the Bruins, after splitting the face offs in the first period, won 15 of 20 in the second. Lost that one. Buck speared off the glass, held in by Mahura's glove. Bruins try to guide it to the middle, held in by Losterinen. Shot back of the Bruins net, deflected near side. Up to the left point, Mahura, near side, Rodriguez, to the middle. Oh, misfired. Osterina. He was open. Chunked that one-timer, and the Bruins will skate it out to the neutral zone. Here's DeBrusque. Behind the play, we've got a penalty. The Bruins got to get their feet moving here again. 15-32 left here in the third, 2-1 Bruins. Lundell behind the play, tripped up McAvoy. Well, McAvoy just gave him a shot as he went by the box. He's going to. They're both going. And McAvoy, as he was going by, the Lundell hadn't quite gotten in there yet. Gave him a little one-handed shove with the stick. And he'll loosen up the ice. McAvoy, by the way, oh. leading the Bruins yeah. in penalties. Lundell who had a stick in on McAvoy. McAvoy went down very easily. So that's got to be embellishment on McAvoy, I would think.
Face off of the near dot just beyond the Florida line. Florida with six early shots in the period. Zaka wins the face off. Scrub back into the Bruins zone. Watherspoon. Yeah, Lindell tripping and McAvoy embellishment. Center circle. Pasternak wheels in high slot. Fed it into the slot off a stick. Bobrovsky pushed it over to the near side. Reinhardt uses the back of the net. Far corner. Ekman Larson gave it away. Watherspoon. Then locked up in a battle with Barkov. Barkov's got it. Drifts the puck to the middle. Right point, Barkov. Across. Forsling wheels in. Shoots. Hallmark fought it off. Uh, that was right by his left ear. Now to the slot, it's Barkov. Went Flipped off the stick the of near, side. near point, Forsling. Stops at the high slot to Barkov. Back for Reinhardt. Second in the league in goals. Shoots. Hallmark the save. They score. It's Barkov up the rebound. Bruins two, Panthers two. Yeah, rebound came right to him. Just possession there for the Panthers. And I said the Bruins, they don't have their legs right now in this third period. In Florida, even before the matching penalties, I mean, they had some zone time in Boston's end. They had a couple good looks. I think that original shot coming in may have def Deflected and Olmark made the save. So we're all even. Panthers got out to a 1 0 lead. The Bruins tied it. The Bruins led 2 1 heading into this third period. And it's 2 2. A minute five remains on the matching penalties to Lundell and McAvoy. Now Boquist and Bennett kicked out of the draw. DeBrusque will step in and take it against Kachuk. And it's flipped just inside the Florida line. Here's Mikola, chased by Boquist, back of his net. He'll reverse it to Bennett. Bennett will slowly carry ahead. Angles left. Swerves to the center circle. Now lost it as he penetrated. Lindholm, a dish to the middle and DeBrusque. Back to Lindholm, over the line high slot. Lindholm, right point Boquist. Kicks to the stick, and he'll now regroup out in the neutral zone, chased by Mikola. Yes, that was by DeBrusca. Huh? Spinner him a pass over to the left side, tape to tape there for Lindholm. Half a minute left of four-on-four four hockey. Here's DeBrusque. Back in his own zone. Leaves it far side. Grizzly. The Bruins going backward. Grizzly stops behind his net. He's got Marchand to his left. Tried to hit him with a pass. It doesn't connect. Marchand how has it. Up left wing, over the red line, over the blue line. Going wide on Montour. Montour gave him a whack in the hands. Now far point. Montour has his stick held up by Marchand. Bruins trying to fish the puck free. Kicked by Montour into the far circle. And then Marchand had a hold of Montour's stick. It was Montour looking down at the referee with his palms up right now. <laughs> you can make a case. Puck speared ahead and hit the linesman. Bounces to Lindholm. Right wing to Geeky. He'll rocket one in. Around it comes. Heinen onto the ice. Far corner. He's got it. Took a poke check from Ekman Larson. Back of the net. They joust forward. It squirts to the slot. And the Panthers will burst the other way. By the way, the penalty boxes have emptied. So five on five hockey now. Back of the net. McAvoy to the near corner. Up the right side. Geeky. Saw the hit coming from Barkov. Bumped it. Back into the Florida zone. 12.37 remaining here in the third. Bruins two, Panthers two. Here's circle Ekman Larson. Fluttered it out to center ice. Three on two. Stenlin over the line to the right circle. Gadjevich, his shot deflected off the back glass. Up the left point, Mahura. High slot. The shot by Kulikov shattered his stick. Now Beecher tried to play it to the middle. The Bruins don't get this puck out. Stenlin shoots blocker save made by Allmark and off the surface. 12.09 left here in the third. Bruins two and the Panthers two. We'll take the timeout on the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network, driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda deals. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. 
So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh-oh, better get Mako. Start at McDonald's. And where you start stays with you. The home of the Rivs, the Sports Hub. This face-off is sponsored by WellPoint, formerly Unicare, which is teamed with Charlie Coyle, Massachusetts State and Local Police, the professional firefighters of Massachusetts, and Bruins Radio for face-offs for first responders to encourage first responders to ask for help when the job gets to be too much. Get started on your path to whole health now at wellpoint.unicare.com. Face off near circle of Bruins end. Shots 9 1 in favor of the Panthers here in this third period, and they even the game at two. Off the draw, the Bruins chip it ahead. Dragged out to center ice. Geeky snapped it to the middle. Marchand will fling it in. Back in his own zone. Bennett dished it to the middle. Cousins near side. Cousins gave it away in the neutral zone. Now Peak back in his own end. Angling left at the red line. Tossed it back in deep. Marchand going to try and get it. Montour works his way around to pick up the left side. He's going to join the fray. And now it breaks off to change. Peak around Kachuk. Banked it ahead. Angled by the Bruins all the way down. No icing here. Geeky takes a look. He's going to go change rather than chase the puck. 11.25 left here in the third. Bruins two. Panthers two. Barkov brings it in. Shoots blocked. Chip back of the net. Lindholm frees it for McAvoy. Sent it to the middle. Zaka relays for Lindholm. He'll stride ahead over the line. High slot. Now Zaka, far circle. Pasternak up to the left circle. McAvoy left to the cage. Back of the net. Pasternak rotates to the near side. Shoots. Bobrovsky the save as Heinen was screening. And Bobrovsky holds for a draw. Heinen was all alone in front trying to get that tip. Bobrovsky was able to Sight that puck coming through. Fans, Bruins Hockey is brought to you by Removal Pro of New England. If your home or office needs oil tank removed or installed, call the experts at Removal Pro at 740-TANK-PRO. If it's big and heavy and it's got to go, call Removal Pro at 740-TANK-PRO. Online at oilremovalpro.com. 10.59 left here in the third. Two apiece. Face-off right circle the Panthers end. Frederick will lean in and take it. Against Lundell. Bruins win it. Right point McAvoy. Fires. Blocker to side by McAvoy. Or by Bobrovsky on that good drive by McAvoy. McAvoy. Even the game in the first period. With his 11th goal of the season. To set a new career high. The Bruins lob it ahead. Rodriguez knocked down behind the play. Wasn't happy with Lindholm there. Just gave him a whack. Bruins drive the puck up the right side. Frederick traps it. Goes across while his oh. team is changing. <laughs> Uh, Grizzly, a nice job there to get that puck out. The Bruins couldn't play it until they got guys off the ice there. Lundell took a... Always got to be careful when you're sending the puck back over towards your bench. Here's Frederick. Banked it up to the left side. This will roll softly into the Florida zone. Now Stenlin fades back to the far hash marks of his own zone. Throws the puck ahead to Lombard. Trying to get around Beecher. Throws it in, but didn't get it deep. Now Beecher lost it. Look out. And then Stenlin with a drive from a deep angle off of Allmark. Mikola shakes left of the net. Took a bump from Carlo. The puck jammed to the near side. The Bruins flip it up to the near point. Lomberg kept it in. Back of the net, Carlo. And a problem getting stick free. Knotted up with Gadjevich. Penalty We're coming up to Gadjevich. Penalty. An offensive zone penalty by the Florida Panthers with 9.37 left here in the third in a 2-2 game. We'll take a timeout on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins Radio Network driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Before Shopify, were you wondering, where my sales at? 
Now you're selling with Shopify, the global commerce platform supercharging your selling. You have no problem selling online, in person, on social media, and beyond. Gary, easy on the cha-ching. <clears throat> oh, sorry, but my Shopify sales are through the roof. Start selling with Shopify today and discover how millions of businesses around the world use Shopify to ignite their selling. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. Shopify.com slash listen. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. Jason Tatum plays here. Tip the entry to Smart Nola, bounce pass to the cutter. Jason Tatum, who lays it up and in with the right hand, and the Celtics are dancing right now. They are rocked in the cross half court. And fans headed for the exit. Tatum, pull up three. Good night. You know what MVPs do? He still got 29 in the right. Tatum to the right. Pulls up on LeBron. They're isolated. Right side of the floor. Tatum spins on the baseline. Turns. Fade. Oh. Get it! This is the home of the Celtics. 98.5 The Sports Hub. The only place to hear the game. The Sports Hub. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins radio network. Jonah Gadjevich off two for high sticking. The Bruins one for four thus far on the power play. Getting set for the face out in the far circle. The Panthers in. Zaka, Marshan, Van Riemsdyk, Pasternak, and McAvoy. Yeah, that's how they started the last power play. Gadjevich, I mean, he got, I mean, he's inadvertent, but he got the stick up on Brandon Carlo. It's a tough one to take, right? Bruins win the draw. Fourth line, 200 feet from your net. Pasternak walks in, shoots, Bobrovsky the save. And he holds. He got a chance to square up and see it. And Pasternak took that step to the middle of the ice to get that shot away from the left wing circle that time. Bruins work to get this puck. Possession off the faceoff. Rotate it back over to Pasternak. He's stepping into the middle of the ice to get this shot away. Bruins win another draw. High slot now, McAvoy. Zaka, two wins there. Now Pasternak dangles around and check left in the cage, trying to poke it out in front. Oh, Ekman Larson nearly was put on the highlight reel there. Near circle now, Marshan up top, McAvoy. Right point, Marshan right of the net. Here's Van Riemsdyk, spins away from Forsland, using that long reach. Tried to center, intercepted by Stenlin and cleared. That's too bad. You had good possession off of the faceoff. Yeah, Pasternak. I think uh, Ekman Larson thought he was going to try to make that pass into the middle. And... 115 left on the power play. Two apiece. Pasternak glides in. Threads it right circle. Van Riemsdyk shoots. Block. Rebound. Set up to the far point, but held in by McAvoy's gloves. Rims it back in the net. Kulikov angles around, and he'll clear it. 835 left here in the third. Two apiece. 55 seconds left. On the Bruins power play, Pasternak remains on. As does Marshan. Pedals ahead. Bruins able to flip it into the far corner. Sent to the far side, McAvoy. Trying to free it, sandwiched by a couple of Panthers. Far wall, it's pinned against the yellow kick plate. Marshan trying to pull it out of there. Ekman Larson, back of the net. It's sent to Forsling, and he'll wing it all the way down. Near corner, Geeky will scoop it up. 23 seconds left in the power play. Just under eight minutes remaining in regulation. Banked ahead, here's Geeky out at center ice. His pass to the middle broken up by Bennett. And now Kulikov gave it away. Geeky keeps it in right circle. Right dot, right of the net. Trying to squeeze it back in the cage, nudged it to Coyle. He has the power play goal that the Bruins scored. Gadjevich is out of the box. He remains on the ice. He didn't go to change. Far corner of the Bruins trying to free it. Bend it up the far side. And it's flipped out to center ice by Lindholm. And now Florida will get a full change. 7-18 left here in the third in a 2-2 game. 
Ooh, Lindholm's pass up the middle. Reinhardt got a piece of it. Now it's rocketed up the left side by the Bruins. They can't get it in deep. And it's feathered into the left corner by Reinhardt. Tarasenko chasing after it. Pulled out of there by Watherspoon. Lauko near side. Banked up top. Mahura wrists it back of the net. Tarasenko drove to the post. He got knotted up with Watherspoon. Boquist guides it to the middle just out of Frederick's reach. And it's blistered back in by the Panthers. Paul Maurice wants a change. Second all-time in games coach for only Scotty Bowman with more. Carlo ripped it into the right corner. Sent over to the far side in the Panthers' end. Here's Mahura. Up left wing, Rodriguez. Try to backhand it in. The Bruins steer it out. Here's Geeky with the Panthers changing. Hustles in. Fires just wide with a bullet. We've seen him score on that Look shot. Look out. Here come the Panthers and an odd man chance. Lundell over the line right side to Bruss. Bearing in. It's fired. Oh, Mark. What a stop on Rodriguez. Squared up and snared in with the left hand. Grizzlick tried to keep that puck in over on the blue line. He had just hopped on the ice. It hops by him and ends up being the three on two coming back the other way. And the shot taken right from Dunk Lundell dropped that puck off. Good shot trying to go high to the glove by Rodriguez. And Allmark pushes off forward, top of the blue paint to make this glove save. Been busy this period. The shots are now 27 24 in favor of the Panthers. It's hockey season. It's peerless boiler season. Replace your old boiler and water heater with a new peerless boiler and pavilion tankless water heater. Find your local dealer at peerlessboilers.com and remember peerless boilers, the world's best built boilers. Face off right circle in the Bruins end. Bennett kicked out of the draw. Cousins is going to step in and take it against Zaka. And the Panthers win it, held in by Mahura. He'll wrist it back of the net, intercepted by Watherspoon. Uses the glass near side, this doesn't get out. Back of the net, Bennett, brace for the contact. Bennett near side, up top for Mikola. To the right point, Montour, back of the net. Kachuk, Kachuk opened the scoring. Cashing in on a very fortunate bounce, tried to roll it out in front, the Bruins guided ahead. And here's Coyle out to center ice, center circle. To peak over the line right side. Flipped it to the near corner. Cut off by Montour. And now Cousins couldn't scrape it out. Held in by Pasternak. Tripped up! Wow. And it's flipped back into the Bruins zone. Kelly Sutherland trying to explain the call as Pasternak was skating back toward the Bruins D zone. Here's McAvoy up the right side. He'll drill it in. Oh, uh, the only way he explained it, he just he didn't see it or he didn't have an angle to see it properly because. Well, he didn't put his hands over his eyes. That was not the gesture he gave. Here's Forsling over the line left side to Tarasenko. Tried to return it. The Bruins cut it off. Hack it up the near side. Held in by Forsling. Rister. Back of the net. Tarasenko wrap around and Olmark beat him to the far post. And he covers up with 4.50 left here in the third. Bruins 2 and the Panthers 2. On the 98.5, the Sports Hub Bruins radio network. Driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home. Yes, cool. Or attending one live. No! You'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home... Yes, cool. ...or attending one live... No! ...you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial connection. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. 1H 2023. Results may vary. Not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. The Honda you want is here. Now is the perfect time to drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 2.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Passport or Ridgeline and a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Pilot.
See dealer for financing details. Felger and Maz, afternoons 2 to 6 on the Sports Hub. Brad Marchand, David Posternock with the assists on the Bruins' last goal. And with those feeds, the Shaws and Star Market Foundation will donate another $200 to the Greater Boston Food Bank to help fight food insecurity. Learn more about feeding the puck for families at 985thesportshub.com slash feed the puck. Florida tied the game here in the third period. They led it 1-0. They trailed 2-1. The goal's... For the Bruins today, McAvoy and Coyle sandwiched in between Kachuk and Barkov. Here's Kulikov, right circle Bruins zone. Shoots, blocked, the rebound. Dragged out by Boquist. He'll speed over the line right side, into the right circle. Hits the brakes. Near hash, Boquist. Bruins making a change up top. Boquist up to McAvoy right point. Rink wide, Grizzly shoots wide. And Lundell has it. Carla blocked that last shot. He's trying to walk it off right now, going down towards the Bruins locker room. Now Rodriguez mashed against the wall by McAvoy. Near side in the Bruins end. Here's Lundell. Backhands it up top. Mikola rink wide Montour. Puck on edge. Flipped it off the right wing glass. Far side Rodriguez. Right circle. Shoots. Hallmark the save. Losterine and sent it into the slot, and Lundell denied by McAvoy at the near post. May have saved the goal. Puck drilled out in front by Montour. The Bruins chip it up the left side, can't get it out. Dribbled left of the net. One of the Bruins has yeah, lost Mac- the stick. That's McAvoy. Had a stick. And Not a hard chop, but chopped out of his hands. Bruins cleared up the glass right side and back into the Florida zone with 3.37 left here in the third. Florida has been pushing. Here's Bennett. Drives it into the right corner, goes to Chase. Watherspoon sees him, absorbed the hit. It's gloved back into the Bruins zone by the Panthers. And it's bounced out to center ice. Here's Pasternak. Flips it down the left wing boards. Heinen chasing. Blocked up with Ekman. Pasternak back of the net. Shakes free from Forsling. Pasternak shot it back of the cage looking for Zaka. And now Cousins along the near side. Took a shoulder from Zaka out to center ice. Kachuk coughed it up, and the Panthers get it back. Cousins over the line, high slot. He'll fling it to the right of Allmark. Watherspoon braced for the contact against Barkov. And the Bruins pull it out of there with 2.49 remaining here in regulation in a 2-2 game. Bruins with a four-point lead over the Panthers in the Atlantic. Last meeting of the regular season, the Bruins have won all three to this point. And the Bruins with the best record in the Atlantic Division against Division foes. Marchand. Uh, he wanted to give that puck to McAvoy for the one-timer coming in. McAvoy shoots. Bobrovsky the save. Left the rebound out in front. And Bobrovsky covers up. Check out the hardest working player of the week content on 985thesportshub.com. Brought to you by the Peterson School. Are you a master in your trade and interested in passing the torch to the next generation of tradespeople? Join the growing team of instructors at the Peterson School. Visit petersonschool.com to learn more. We're going to do some repairs. The bull gang is in the far corner of the Bruins' end on one of the partitions. The same one that was giving them problems uh, the last time we were at the TD Garden, which was seven games ago. But <laughs> The high schoolers come in and yeah. <laughs> wreck the rink again. Yeah. 227 remaining here. Conversation out center ice, and the linesman quickly gets in there while they're doing the repairs. Up next for the Bruins, uh, a game against another one of the top teams in the league. They're going to see the Carolina Hurricanes, a team they beat just two days ago down in Raleigh. Duncan pregame will begin on Tuesday at 6.30. Here's and I will get to the starting lineups in the opening faceoff at 7 o'clock. From there, the Bruins won't play again until Saturday. And they're going to travel in. They're going to play the Penguins and then head into Washington. That's their last road trip of the year. And the season ends against the Ottawa Senators here at TD Garden. Face off right circle in the Panthers end. Coyle, Pasternak, and Marchand out there. McAvoy and Lindholm on the back end. Off the draw, the Panthers have it. Flip it ahead, out to center ice. McAvoy leaves near side Martian. Bothered by Barkov. 
The Bruins trying to get it back. It's chipped up the middle, and here's Marshan up left wing, an area pass for Pasternak. Panthers are furious. They wanted a penalty on McAvoy. Got tangled up with Barkov. Barkov just now getting out of the Bruins zone. Appears to be fine. Puck lobbed into the Bruins' end. Barkov is going to burn. Break off and change as Marshan gave a little extra bump. He's a guy who has dealt with some injuries here this season. Heinen ripped it over to the far side. Scooped up by the Panthers. Brought in by Rodriguez. <laughs> Went down. Looked, looked like he wanted to try and draw a call. He had a great chance earlier in this period coming in on an odd man chance. Shoots. He's a shooter. The far He's got side. a couple shots. Heinen far wall battling. Couldn't get it out. It's drilled back of the Bruins net. Right oh. in the cage. Omar. Stops that puck, and I think he may have gotten a little bit of help back door as McAvoy battling out in front. He got help from Lindholm otherwise because he didn't know where that puck was. Because of the angle, he thought that puck went out the other way, but it stopped right behind the net after it hit the glass. We've already had one bad bounce that led to a goal in the first period. And Lindholm got back to the short side post to deny it. 128 remaining in regulation, two apiece. A crucial play by Hampus Lindholm with Olmark at the opposite near post. Both teams slowly making their changes. Bennett, Kachuk, and Cousins comes out for Paul Maurice. Zaka will take the draw. He's out with Pasternak and DeBrusque. Bruins win the faceoff. Pasternak makes sure this puck gets out. Here's DeBrusk up the line right side. Top right wing circle, he stops. Leaves it for Pasternak, skates to the right corner. Took a uh, big check back of the net Bennett from was, Bennett. He was looking for that one. Along the near side, it's cranked back of the Bruins net. Allmark, Pasternak's gonna head off and change. Marchand, squeeze the puck ahead. Heinen just off the bench, will flip it to the far corner of the Panthers end, no icing. Given away, Heinen. To Marchand, backhand. It's fought for. The puck squirted by Bobrovsky, and I think Forsling saved the goal. Oh, I don't know how it stayed out. Marchand couldn't elevate that puck. He just got off the bench. He got the pass right out into the slot area, and he went to the backhand. Bobrovsky came way out. Marchand had him. If he could elevate that puck or... Bobrovsky got it with the left pad. Yeah, four. Ford can help because Geeky was trying to jam that puck home. 44 seconds left here, third. Face off in the Florida end. Heinen, while he was getting knocked down, drilled it wide. Reinhardt gave it away to Marshan. Up top, McAvoy shot it to the open right corner. Coyle has it, protects. Shakes free from Ekman Larson. Back of the net, Marshan sets up behind the net. Marshan worked around to pick up top Lindholm, rink wide, McAvoy, here it comes, blocked by Barkov. And it's muscled up the near side and back into the Bruins zone. Lindholm got it away from Tarasenko, 13 seconds left here in regulation. The Bruins fling it in, far corner. Rodriguez spun around by Zaka. Bank toward the front of the net by Pasternak. Peak shoots, blocked, one second left, and we're going to overtime. So in that third period, the Panthers able to get the equalizer at 524 from Alexander Barkov. Each team will pick up a point. To overtime we go at the end of regulation. Bruins 2 and the Panthers 2 on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins radio network driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. 
At Exchanger's programmatic I.O. Las Vegas is taking place May 20th through the 22nd. Hear from industry innovators on the latest in commerce, media, CTV, privacy, and more. Go to adexchanger.online slash LV for 20% off when you register today. The home of the bees, the sports hub. So they'll do a dry scrape and the goalies will change ends. 2-2 at the end of three periods. The Bruins won the first meeting in overtime, also coming from behind. Pavel Zaka had the game winner in that one. The Bruins victorious 3-2. Zaka actually has two game winners in the season series. For the Bruins overall, they are 6-12 and in the three-on-three overtime session. Those 12 losses, the most in the league. The Florida Panthers 6-3 and three in the three-on-three -three overtime session. So the Bruins will be working right to left. Coyle, Lindholm, and Marchand begin up front. Brad Marchand with 19 career overtime game winners. That's tied for the third most in NHL history. Only Ovechkin and Crosby with more. Florida's going to counter with Reinhardt, Barkov, and Montour. A little early movement, and I think they're going to redo this faceoff. Barkov will take it against Coyle. Coyle wins the draw. Clean. Lindholm fades back into his own zone. Saucers to Martian. Up left wing. He'll motor ahead. Accelerates. Backhands across. Coyle will take it back to the center circle. Now back into his own zone. Here's circle. It's Lindholm. Banked up the right side. Martian flipped it back. Lindholm paddled it ahead. Here's Coyle. Motors over. Stops at the right point. High slot. Martian. Right of the net, looking for Lindholm. It just missed him. And out at center ice, the Bruins intercept the puck. Pasternak brings it in to the high slot. Fires. Bobrovsky, the save, wants to put it down, does. Barkov was tired or what? That's an uncharacteristic giveaway right in the neutral zone. He's off the ice now. 4-10 remaining here in the overtime session. Near circle, it's Bennett. Feeds to Kachuk. Kachuk winding it up. Center circle. Laterally, and he'll turn back into his own zone. Kachuk leaves it. Oh, and what a, a little pick, pick on Pasternak. <laughs> High slot Bennett. Bennett shoots, and it sails off a body to the near corner. And the Panthers will send it all the way down. Bobrovsky will stop it far circle. Drilled it ahead. Careful the Bruins get a change. Oh, and it's Bennett picked off. Two everybody. on one. Heinen over the line with McAvoy. Heinen shoots. Bobrovsky a blocker save. And the puck off the surface. Bennett was behind everybody. So they send that puck back to Bobrovsky. Two Bruins go for the change. And Bobrovsky sends it right, right back up the ice. And Bennett looking to get behind everybody. And then it leads to the two-on-one coming back the other way. Heinen coming down that left wing side. He's got McAvoy on the right, but Forsling taking it away. Face-off in the near circle of Panthers end. Boquist will lean in to take it. He's out with DeBrusque and Grizzly. The margin after this is either going to be a, a five-point lead for the Bruins or a three-point lead in the Atlantic Division. Each team picking up a point today. Over the line right side, here's Tarasenko. Drives out in front, shoots. Hallmark the stop, and then he... He stopped the rebound chance. Bruins chip it ahead. Boquist corrals it and gave it away. Lundell brings it in. Shoots. So mark the save. Near side Ekman Larson. Gave it away. Boquist wheels ahead with a step left circle. Shoots. He scores! Yes for Boquist. Cranked it in off the near post. An overtime game winner. The Boston Bruins sweep the regular season series against the Panthers. 
And they're going to take a five-point lead in the Atlantic Division with four games left. Your final here today, Bruins 3, Panthers 2, in overtime. Well, Boquist has a play right at his own blue line where he half turned it over and it leads to a chance one way, but then Boquist makes the play right at the blue line. He's going to get this puck away from Tarasenko after Tarasenko had the great opportunity. He flies down the left wing side and he's going to beat Bobrovsky high to the blocker side. Beardsley and I will bring you back for the post-game show in a moment. Bruins victorious 3-2 over the Panthers in the overtime session on the 98.5 The Sports Hub Bruins radio network driven by the versatile Honda CRV at your local New England Honda dealers. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. With the McDonald's app, you can get your favorite thing delivered to your door. So you can eat your favorite thing while you watch your favorite thing at home. Order McDelivery in the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And participating McDonald's delivery prices may be higher than at restaurants. Delivery and other fees may apply. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. And get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial connection. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC.